Means we don't really have to worry about too many boarding situations. All right. Let's get rocking and a rolling. Good luck, I'm going to die. Kill all ally victory. No BS. Gonna get you to load it up in the teleporter. One thing to note with this ship is that we definitely want to... We definitely want to make sure that we are uh, using our heal bombs early. If we end up using them too late, we can definitely run into a lot of problems because heal bombs can miss the enemy ship just like any other shot. So let's see what we can do here. We always want to uncover as many beacons as possible. I'm going to jump over here. So if I jump up here, I will see three beacons. This will show me three as well, but I won't be able to see this beacon otherwise. So I'm going to go up here first. Ion Pulse. Well, that's the worst. And a Burst Laser 1. They have a Mantis and a Zoltan over there. That's definitely going to be pretty freaking annoying. Uh, burst Laser 1 firing at 11 seconds. This firing at 12 seconds. I really should probably get their weapons down first before we really do anything here. Because we could uh, really get screwed here if I jump over there and my weapons end up getting ionized. And then I'm going to lose my crew versus that Mantis. So, never saw a Crimson Banana. Should have looked that up. I don't know. That's the thing. Okay, here comes the uh, Burst Laser 1. I need to fire this Artemis, by the way, at their weapons. Yep, there goes my shields. That's very bad. Go get that repaired. Get that offline. Perfect. And we do have a fire going on over there, which is great. Once I get my shield on, like, their weapons are going to burn down for sure. Yeah, yeah, those are definitely going to burn down. And they're offline anyway, because that uh, Zolt is in there. $10 from Jonamon. Billy is love, FTL is life. <laughs> All the love, John Amon. Thank you so much for the 10 bucks. That is very generous of you. Thanks for helping me stay full time the stream. Thanks for helping me pay the bills, bud. I really appreciate it. Oh, so very much. Let's get over there. Let's get boarding. And let's get killing these doofuses. Okay. Good. What's up, Kuno? Welcome back. What's up, Misty Mayan? Are you planning to do more no pause runs in the near future? Yeah, I was just saying I think we're going to start doing no pause runs again because I'm feeling kind of uh, stale playing FTL like we have been uh, as at this moment. Thanks for the like of the retweet, Kuno. Appreciate the Twitter support. There's not really a whole lot of micro that I could do here. I mean, I could switch my, uh, my crew between uh, these two because the Zoltan does less damage, right? But uh, there's not a whole terrible lot I could do. So I think we're at the point right now where I would definitely like to, uh, since the Ion Pulse is going to hit here, we probably want to fo uh, go ahead and use the Heal Bomb really, really early here. And the reason we want to do that is because when that Zoltan blows up, uh, he's going to deal 15 points of damage to both my guys in the room. And this Ion Pulse is about to hit, so if that ends up taking down my, uh, you know, my weapons and maybe my teleporter, it hits then we're gonna have a huge problem having two crew here fighting this uh, this Mantis. So we're gonna go ahead and use that early, and we're gonna finish up that Mantis. Nice, 18 scrap, two misses and a drone part, very good. We took two, three points of damage, so that's definitely not too bad. Kudo with the $20 as well. What the Bama Jam is going on? We got a donation trade going. Thank you so much, Kudo, for the 20 bucks. Thanks for helping me stay full time. Thanks for helping me pay the bills. $20, crazy generous. Holy hand of banana. Look at all this crazy shit that's going on. Jeez, Lou. Jeez. Thank you so very much, Kuno. Thanks for helping me stay full time, bud. Thank you so very much. Crazy generous of you. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and just jump way early? Question mark? I don't know. I could... I don't have to heal silence if I don't want to. I could save a bomb, and I could actually board with spam going up against the next ship, so that way we don't have to worry about him being slightly low on health. I think we're probably just going to do that. It's going to be super conservative with my bombs here since the other mantis didn't, or the other slug didn't get dealt damage. What a freaking down. It's crazy generous of you, bud. All right, let's go. All right, lurk away, Kuno. Lurk away, bud. Hmm, say, so I can jump over here. That shows me two do beacons. This shows me two do beacons as well. Uh, I think we're gonna jump here first. An asteroid field, ion pulse. And an asteroid field. Are you planning on getting a clone bay? I think we're planning on getting nothing this run, DJ Dragonflame. 
pretty sure we're planning on getting nothing. I don't know. We'll kind of see how it uh, plays out, but that's definitely something that we're considering at the moment. So, a heavy laser firing at 9 seconds, uh, basic laser firing at 10 seconds. Uh, it's definitely going to be a potentially challenging ship. If an asteroid takes down my shields and then the heavy laser starts hitting my ship, we're going to have a huge problem here. But they do have a, they have an energy and they have a mantis. So, it's going to be a little bit nice that uh, we're able to... Uh, kind of double like fight fight an easy guy even if it means uh, there's also a hard a, a difficult guy in the, in the mantis i'm gonna board here just a second i just want to get a little bit of charge time on my heal bomb before my guys start taking damage okay up my evasion here by pulling my oxygen still no evasions as of yet here but we didn't get hit in the shields and it did look like that heavy laser was going straight for my shields we're going to be switching this uh slug that's fighting the mantis here right i could fire this artemis in here actually to be a little bit safer uh we're going to be switching the the slug that's fighting the mantis with uh, the slug that's fighting the ng because the ng does less damage uh right so that way we can uh kind of protect our guy that has low health and have him fight an easier opponent is the idea. And I could, I think I can get away without using any, um, any med, uh, heal bombs here, I'm pretty sure. As long as we don't get hit by an asteroid, we'll be okay. Get him boys. 22 scrap, 3 fuel, and a drone part. Very nice. All right. Go ahead and bring my guys back. Use a heal bomb on him. Shit. I won't be able to get it. my pilot in time. <laughs> I was a waste of a bomb. I'm just going to keep boarding with these guys, I guess, right now. No clone or medical bay. What kind of D&D sorcery is this? I don't know. We'll see. I don't think I... I think we might as well do something a little bit challenging here. I don't know why I used that heal bomb. I could have just had them all in the same room here, but I didn't. So, whoops. No. no you go. You you stay. That's right. Okay, there we go. But yeah, we've done challenges before where we've not gotten a med or a clone bay, but uh, I don't know. I just kind of feel like doing something a little bit, a little bit different. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. Reconstructed teleport. We've definitely used to uh, to not have to use a meta clone bait before. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think we had that in our challenge run though. Okay, we've detected an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. We're going to intervene and defend the outpost for sure. For sure. No way, Billy will buy it. Um, we might. Uh, buy it. I don't. It depends on where we're at, Caesar. With this ship, buying the reconstructed teleport can be kind of nice because it gives you a free, essentially, it frees up a slot, you know, an, uh, a system slot, which is pretty powerful. It's, this is the ship that that the uh, that the reconstructed teleport is actually kind of legitimate on. But we're, this is a guaranteed double reward. The refueling outpost doesn't go anywhere, so we'll definitely be intervening, defending an outpost here. We'll send you guys into your systems. Basic laser firing at 10 seconds, mini beam firing at 12. We're just gonna have to kill them with an Artemis missile. Hopefully we hit all all shots and then we can just kill them with three missiles. Should be really nice. Okay, no evasion there, but uh, they're hitting me for two damage. Not hitting me for anything anymore, but uh, they didn't hit my shields or anything like that. So that is fantastic. Oh, they dodged it. Come on, man. Come on. Not supposed to dodge things. Oh, wow. All right. This is how you're going to play it, eh, auto scum? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. Back to the teleporter. Let's get the hell out of here. Ten scrap, one fuel, a drone part, and we're getting a guaranteed double reward. Remember, the refueling outpost doesn't go anywhere. Nice. Sixteen scrap, one missile, and a drone part. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Okay, no, still no store, nothing, no, nothing like that over here. And then again, we only saw one new beacon here, really. I guess we're probably... I was kind of wanting to go up here to spot these out first. Because I could, I could still go to three jumps and then still hit this distress. I just want to see if that happens to be a store or something like that, I guess. Did it happen to you that you ran out of bombs without having an alternative weapon? Did it happen to you that you ran out of bombs without having an alternative weapon on this ship? Um, I we've had we've had that happen on just like on the Rock A and on this ship and and just like about anything that you could possibly imagine. We've definitely ran out of missiles when we've had to rely on them. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Let's take a look up here so I can spot out some new beacons. Free weapon! I know that background anywhere. If you see this kind of shiny background portion right here, and this kind of, uh, this kind of, I don't know, this kind of gray, gray bluish kind of background, the planet can differ, but this background equals a free weapon the world around. Eight scrap and a small bomb. Not really going to be too interested in using the small bomb in this in, in a lot of cir circumstances here, but we will be using it in some circumstances over the Artemis because it is, as a support weapon, better than the Artemis missile is, for sure. But, uh... Alright, let's take a little jump down here then we'll hop over to that distress, I think. That sounds fine to me. Not super useful, but not useless at all. Small bomb is a fantastic support weapon, and I'm always happy to get it. All right, let's attack this ship before they can attack. What do we got here? They got a heavy laser, and they have a basic laser. We could have gotten my shields to level two, by the way, at this point. Maybe I should have done that, but I'm kind of interested in spotting out a store here if I can. Correct. The small bomb does not do any hull damage. Absolutely. Absolutely correct. Wow, okay, so they have a Mantis and a Rockman, so we know we're going to have to use a heal bomb here in order to get their crew dead. Um, what I can't abuse is the fact that the Rockman is very slow, so I can try and get my slugs to do extra damage to their uh, to their Mantis and get him down really early, but uh, it's still going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Heavy laser firing at 9 seconds, basic laser firing at 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and get the board in here. Uh, I think we can probably just go ahead and do that right away. Let's go ahead and board their engines so we can already start working on the Mantis here. We need to get him dead as soon as we can. After the Rockman gets here, we're going to run right up to piloting. And see, we can get some extra hits in on the Mantis there. Before the Rockman gets in, we're going to automatically run away really quick. Okay, is he hitting my teleporter? He is. Okay, so... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire the Artemis missile... Uh, we want to we want to fire it in their uh, trying up my evasion. By the way, I'm gonna fire it in their weapons, I guess. Yeah. Just make sure we're not gonna be dealt any damage here. Good. Move our guys back up. I want my. I want my slug with more health to be fighting the mantis. Once we get this mantis dead, then we're golden, right? We're golden here for killing the rockman. And I will show you why that is the case here in just a second. Okay, now we have the mantis dead. We've used the fact that this rock crewman is slow in order to try to kind of double team the mantis. My crew are at kind of low health here, right? 44 and 38. If we were to just stand here and try to brute force down this Rockman, who is at full health, it's not going to happen. But what we could do here to save ourselves a missile is abuse the fact that the AI prioritizes shields over any other system. So I can utilize this by doing this. I can run my slug over into shields, and now the Rockman's like, oh shit, I gotta fight that guy. And I run him back. He's gotta go down to this computer, because they always go to man the computer in a system if they're able to. Otherwise, it starts in the top left, and then goes to the top right, top, bottom left, bottom right, right? So, I'm gonna run him over there, and run him back. Run him back. Run him back. Run him back. Back and forth, back and forth. Slowly chip away at the Rockman here. I don't even have to use a bomb. 
Don't have to use a missile. Don't have to use a heal bomb. Don't have to use nothing. Let's get all these free hits in on this Rockman. We can do this with any crew, really, but uh, the Rockman, it is super, super easy to abuse it. So there we go. That is a very effective way. It Let's say that my teleport is down, which it was, and my heal bomb was offline. You know what I mean? I couldn't get my guys, like, uh, away from the ship, and we have both the crew with really critical health. Use that tip. That right there. Two damage to system and 30 to crew. Yes, that is correct. That's what the small bomb does. 21 scrap, two missiles and a drone part. Very, very solid reward. All right, we're going to get all of my crew in the same room here. Use the heal bomb. Get them all to max health. Very good. Yeah, we're just going to leave science and piloting. He has no fighting training yet. Yeah, I could definitely get my shields to level 2 at this point still, but uh, I think we're going to go ahead and just... I'm just going to be greedy and keep it. Okay, a ship that's struggling to maneuver through the asteroid field. We're going to hail off some assistance. I'm going to have a blue option with my teleporter here. Hopefully we can get a free crew out of it. Okay. They refuse at first, but after another blast rocks their ship, they agree to beam aboard your ship. They say, oh, thank you, but I am really should return to my family, or should return to our, our families. We're sure we can muster up a reward. 22 scrap, better than nothing. All right, All right. we'll be on our way. What's up, Zuff? How's your Saturday going? Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Okay, we're going to spawn out two new beacons here. So I have four beacons before that's so going to be covered. Yeah, probably going to go like here, 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 and then maybe there, and then the exit. Sure. Sounds fine. Okay, a ship that's been refitted for transport rather than combat. So they're gonna have they're gonna be running away right off the bat. If we get a crew kill here, we have a very good chance of getting whatever special goods they have. See what kind of ship we're dealing with. Basic laser and a mini beam, so 10 seconds to 12 seconds firing time. They do have a clone bay, doesn't mean that we're not gonna get the crew kill. We definitely will. And we're gonna be abusing the enemy AI here yet again. We're going to be abusing the fact that the AI will switch their crew around when we run our crew from one place to another. We're gonna board here right off the bat. And you can see my two guys fighting their two guys. And this is what we're going to do. When we run our crew like this, the pilot is going to come and switch places with one of these two guys. And during this this transition period, if you will, uh, we get our two slugs versus their one crewman. Yeah, So that's what we're going to be abusing. And we get the same exact thing over here. And we're going to let him get up into piloting. And we're going to turn around. Okay, we did get hit in the shield, so I absolutely need to Artemis down their weapons here and this is another thing that's really nice is when i fire my artemis here my shields are on fire i'm gonna have to try and vent that out it's gonna take a little bit though I'll turn off my oxygen um uh they don't have a guy piloting right so my th their evasion chance is going to be significantly reduced yeah okay so we're gonna abuse that same trick again it said if the pilot switching around however it will be the guy that is in their weapons Do it again Okay, we managed to put the fire out in the shields. I'm going to close the dudes, turn on my oxygen again. Do you always get max health from the heal bomb or just a certain amount of health? You always get max health. Always get max health. Okay, we're going to switch again. We're going to have to take out that clone bay, right? Because we're about to kill this crewman. In fact, what I could probably do... I could probably, like... Let's wait for this crewman to die. He's just dead. So once this guy is finished registering as dead, this guy is going to run through his clone bay. Let's say that, like, hopefully we fire this Artemis right now, and then this guy is going to be like, oh, I got to go fight, and he's going to run through the clone bay, and hopefully he gets hit by that missile on the way. I'm not 100% sure that's going to be the case. <sighs> like, a full second too early. Should have waited. Should have waited. A little bit greedy there. That's okay. 
All right, now that we're two on two, like there's not really a whole lot that we can do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a heal bomb in here. What I could do, I suppose, is I could have my pilot board here and like kind of distract these crew just a little bit if I really wanted to be, be super. Um, or I could even pull my guys back, but then they're gonna start repairing their stuff and I don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna heal bomb right now. Very nice. And have you go heal the, the shields. All right, get him in Deta, boys. Great job. We got a level up in fighting. 18 scrap and an anti-ship beam drone too. Wow, that's crazy great. We're gonna be able to sell that for a whole ton of scrap. That's awesome. Go ahead and heal my guys up. Back to the stations. So let's go. Die a thousand times. Hey, I've died a thousand times too in this game, Core Hammer. I've died way more than a thousand times. Okie doke. Still looking for a store here. Jump over here. Spot out these two beacons. That's right. Dying, well, dying is a part of the learning the process, at, at the very least. Okay. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by the pirate ship. Stay out of this or you'll be next. Okay, I'm going to attack you. They have a heavy laser and they have a mini beam. And they're also going to be boarding me. Remember, just because you can't see inside of their ship does not mean that you cannot see what they have on their ship, right? So you got to look at their system line here and we see, okay, we have teleporter we're going to get boarded even though we can't see inside of the ship you've played a lot of binding of isaac okay fair enough fair enough for hammer absolutely we're all familiar about dying a lot in binding of isaac except for kuro because he got true platinum god on on, on isaac and then he got the true platinum god on, uh, no, he got, he got the thousand and one percent or whatever on, on rebirth and then in the reason, and the, and the originally got the true platinum god after the re-release of all the content. Crazy. Anyway, we're going to attack the pirate here. This is going to be firing at nine seconds. It's going to be firing at 12 seconds. If we have a guy that is uh, able to man shields, which I think is what I'm going to do, then we have a better chance of not taking any damage here. Uh, because this this has enough of a firing time between the two that we can sometimes get our shields up before that fires. Okay, he's going to board me here. I'm just going to go ahead and deal with him here. We're hoping that we dodge the shot, but we don't know. We have a 15% chance, yeah. But uh, hopefully this, this reduced uh, charge time on the shields just barely look at it it's just firing but that time difference if we look here if 10 percent faster recharge time does make the difference in order to get the shields up now at this point the the, the spacing is going to be further apart for a bit so we're going to be fine don't really have to do anything else here at this point but still i'm gonna go ahead and have you be in the piloting for right now you guys can go on board See the spacing, the timing on the on that is uh, is further apart, so we don't have to worry about that at all. Let's go ahead and just board and murder these guys. Get them and dead them. There we go, boys. Nice. 18 scrap, three fuel, and a drone part. And the settlement can give us like an okay reward, or it can give us a good reward. That's okay. Nine scrap, one fuel, two missiles. Very nice. Gonna get everybody back on the ship. I just did that border with the guy that has more health, just so that way I could have like better value out of my heal bomb, right? There's a store. Thank God. All right. So you're getting hacking or mind control. Seems that you're going to be getting mind control first. Mind control is going to be a great support system for a two-man boarding setup. Be if we if we don't actually plan on getting a clone bay or a med bay here, then I can get hacking 
mind control, and drone control on this ship. And because uh, drone control does a well, actually, now that I, now that now that I say that, drone control doesn't do a great job on this ship because it doesn't like defend the the weapons super duper great, but uh, it does do okay. So we have 162 scrap in Sector 1 right now. It's amazing going into the store with this much scrap. I could take one more jump and then go to the store. Because uh, I do have two jumps before I got to go to that beacon. But I'm going to go ahead and just go to the store right now. Because we have a ton of scrap. And uh, I want to see if I can get my shields to level 2. Okay, they have a hull repair drone, combat 2, and a beam drone. They got a couple of Mantis and a Zoltan. Not interested in buying any crew at this point. They have drone control with a combat drone. They have medbay and they have hacking. Um... So I think what we're probably going to say that we're going to do, we're going to probably say that we're going to go ahead and try to do this without a med or a clone bay. And uh, it might end up kind of, uh, we might end up kind of regretting trying to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and just pick up hacking here. I'm not going to pick up drone control unless it comes with a defense drone, because I think I, I, it would be okay if we could try and get cloaking with this ship, but I mean, we would settle for a defense drone with a drone control, I think. Not gonna buy any crew. We're just gonna get hacking and I'm gonna get my shields level two. Hacking is a great support system for boarding. It will definitely help us kill uh, kill other ships as well just by using as few missiles as possible. Yeah. What's up, Abel? How's it going? Purple shirt really fits your black hair. Aw. I'm wearing my Ferris wheel shirt. It's kind of hard to see it right now. It's got a Ferris wheel on it. Okay, we don't need any repairs. I could get some repairs, but I don't need any. Oh, I could sell that beam drone. I forgot. Yeah, we have a lot of scrap. I couldn't keep that. I can keep that slug repair gel. I might as well, because if I'm really trying to not use any heal bombs at all, then I don't want to have to repair any breaches. So I guess I'll go ahead and hold on to that for the time being. Um, I don't need any fuel. I don't need any repairs. Drone control med bay. I could sell the small bomb, or I could keep it, because it is a better support weapon than an Artemis. It's going good, day night. Welcome back. Good to see you. What's up, General? Happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday to you as well, Abel, though. I don't know if I said happy Saturday. I just like, responded to what you said. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and just bump my shields up to level 2. I could definitely stand to get a couple of bars of power here. It would make my life a lot easier. Since we don't have a store or anything like that, I don't think that that's a terrible idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. What we really, 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 really need at this uh, point in time is a is a weapon, to so that way I don't have to use any missiles offensively. Because right now, if we fight drone ships, we're doing great. Or I mean, if we're fighting non-drone ships, non-drone ships, we're doing great. If we're fighting drone ships, we have a serious problem because we have to utilize Artemis missiles uh, to kill them entirely. So, yeah, definitely not too pleasant. And I'm doing absolutely fantastic, Abel. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Okay, they have drone control and they got the heavy laser. I think I might be trying to go see Kubo in the, uh, the Kubo movie tomorrow in theaters. So tomorrow might be a, a little bit of a shorter stream. But I'm, I've been kind of wanting to see that movie. Wonder what kind of drone they have. A forward scout of the Rebel fleet, by the way, so they're going to be trying to run away. Okay, they have... Uh, they must have an anti-boarding drone or something along those lines. At least they don't have a defense drone, so my missiles are, are useful. I could have used a small bomb if, it, if that wasn't the case. So they don't. I only need one shield here. We're going to hack their med bay. Um, yeah, we're going to hack their med bay. I think. I do have to get it in past their anti-drone drone, but... Okay. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to board their drone just so I see exactly what I'm up against. They do have an anti-boarding drone. Okay, this is definitely a bit of a problem. 
I'm gonna have to do damage to their drone control, I'm pretty sure, in order to get this crew kill. Because this, this anti-boarding drone is gonna cause all kinds of fucking problems for me. What I can abuse here, though, is the fact that their drone is slow, but it's not, like, as slow as, like, anything fucking else. I'm gonna let that guy through here, so that way he's not charging his FTL anymore. I'm gonna have him have to uh, force him to bash open that particular door over there. I think I need to do this. Just get that fucking thing offline, you know? There we go. Alright, Jesus. Stupid anti-boarding drones causing all kinds of havoc. Jeez. Don't repair that. What are you doing? Stop it. No. Bad humans. Oh, you're kind of getting your butt kicked, aren't you? Do I want to use a heal bomb right now? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I do it quite yet. I think I want to use it right now. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and... Let's actually move up here. No, I want to fight the guy with low health. Douche. Let's let this guy run over here. Okay, he's. we're going to let him run to the med bay. Okay, close it up. Block him in. Hack him out. Good, he's dead. And now we get to finish off these guys. Very nice. They will try to run to the med bay here, but it doesn't matter. I can kill them before they get into the med bay. One of them might be able to bust in, but it really doesn't make any difference. Okay, nice. 16 scrap, 2 fuel, and 2 missiles. Very nice. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, the med bay doesn't actually heal my guys when it's uh, when it's hacked. Because if it was, like, I could just wait for the hack to be done. And then uh, heal up my crew, you know what I mean? But unfortunately, that's not how it works. I wish. Science is at full health, so it's fine. Alright, so, um... One thing here is uh, we do have uh, teleporters, so we're going to have some blue options in the nebulas here. If we end up jumping into an ion storm, we're going to have five power to work with. We'll figure that out when that happens, I suppose. Let's go. Down to 15 missiles at the moment. Okay, we have a pirate ship over here. Great. Sounds good. They have a basic laser. They have boarding. They have no med bay, and they have a bomb of some type. Sounds good to me. Where are you boarding, Mr. Mantis? Boarding my dudes. Okay. Let's go deal with this mamma jamma. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch out these, these two to make sure that my guy with more health is fighting him here at this point. Good. Don't know what kind of bomb that is. In fact, it's probably an ion, an ion bomb because it's taking ages to fire, and it's going to my piloting. That's totally fine. Uh, let's see. They have a Zoltan and they have a Rockman. Do I want to heal my guys before they go over there? Nah. I'm probably just going to go ahead and send the pilot and then one of these guys. Actually, you have more health, so I guess you should go with the pilot and you can go if you have the seat. Can you just have him asphyxiate the guy indoors? What, the, the mantis? I could have vented all, all of these doors, I guess. That would have been fine. But he would he might have been able to deal damage before venting all these rooms. Uh, got that lack of oxygen got to him. I'm uh, not 100%. Yeah, we probably could have vented him out first. He probably would have jumped back to his ship before he actually died, though. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and give me hop on over here. We're going to abuse the fact, yet again, that this Rockman is super fucking slow, right? So we're going to go ahead and run our guys all the way over here. And that Sultan's going to be able to chase us pretty closely. But that Rockman, he's going to take fucking ages to get over here, right? So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to run my guy out here. So I'm going to finish that guy off. And we're going to use that same exact trick that we did before. Um... To abuse the fact that the enemy AI prioritizes shields. Here, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, hmm, let's see. It would probably be more effective if we did it with another system. What's something that the, do, you, do you prioritize this over that? No, you don't. 
Do you prioritize that over this? You do. Okay, that's that works. Okay, this is gonna work better. So I could just have him run back and forth like this. I other than I know that shields are always the highest priority. Uh, but I know but uh, I always kind of forget like what other systems happen to prioritize over the other ones. So it's whatever. Get him and dead him. Wow! That is amazing. 18 scrap and a heavy laser mark one. My favorite weapon in the game. Absolutely awesome. Two damage for one power firing in nine seconds. If we have a method of taking down shields, heavy laser is definitely a weapon that we want to be hitting the enemy with. So that is awesome. Let's go ahead and smash our guys with a heal bomb here. Get them back in their positions. Take a look around. We're going to definitely go to that nebula and then we're going to go to the exit. Cool. Yeah, I could have definitely done that, possibly. Nice. Nice. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Just misclicking all over the place. Could get a bar of power here. Don't need it. Thank you for the retweet, Hero of None. I appreciate the Twitter support. What's going on here? Wow. One drone part for seven freaking fuel. Boy. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that. Uh, I mean, we do want drone parts because we're utilizing hacking here, but yeah. Were you watching us play RimWorld yesterday, Lickbones? You're on that file. We're definitely going to do that. Uh, tech, like, scrap-wise, it's a huge trade. Because one drone part's worth eight scrap and seven fuel is worth 21 scrap. So a huge trade, but uh, really it's kind of dependent on what we want the uh, the parts for. But yeah, you're sure the fuel is bad. Jump over to the exit. You was working, but you will watch it later. Oh, it's fine. Just check out this uh, check out this highlight. You didn't die, no. You didn't. Arrived at the long range beacon. Let's see what they got. I can't sell drone parts here. I cannot do that. I'm sorry, station. Can't do it. Absolutely not. Rock controlled is definitely a sector that we have absolutely no interest in going to. Rock controls are definitely one of the more problematic systems. And uh, although we can't abuse the fact that our crew is a lot faster than them, rock ships have a tendency to have missiles, so they're going to be able to deal direct damage to our ship, straight through our shields, and, we're, and we don't have any defense against them. No defense drones or cloaking or anything like that right now. And they're also going to be more likely to have cloaking as well. So we have no interest in going to rock, so we're going to go civilian. Civilian's not particularly exciting, but hopefully it'll get us the scrap that we need to keep on going. Ion storm happening here already. They do have a drone. Uh, if it's an offensive drone, it might be able to deal damage to me. Okay, it's a defense drone mark two. Okay. So what do you do? do here exactly um i'm gonna have my heal bomb ready and we're just gonna i can't believe we dodged that triple rocket launcher man i can't believe it like those it was fucking bananas yeah i don't know i don't know what these guys are doing here exactly but uh let's board them Try and dodge, get some evasion training, that would be nice. Okay, we're gonna do the same trick that we were doing before. Force the enemies to switch places with us. Get some free damage, some 2v1 damage. I'm just putting oxygen into my engines when that heavy laser fires so we can try and get some dodges. I don't have to dodge, because it's not like they can deal me damage, but if I can dodge, that would be nice, right? Because it gets a little bit of training going on. I'm just gonna finish that guy off here. I don't really need to do all this microing, to be honest. That. This guy's gonna have a lot of health. I'm gonna go ahead and have to heal bomb here. Actually, well, you know what I can do? I could have my one guy board over here um, in their shields. And then I could uh, not have to use a... I'm gonna, if, if I'm trying to be really stingy with my heal bombs, then I could go ahead and board here. That'll switch the AI's priority uh, over to there, and then we'll be able to do 3v2 combat here, which will be very beneficial to me. Very nice. Cool. Okay, that works. Bam. 15 scrap, one drone part, and three fuel. Solid reward. Very nice. 
Bring our guys back, get them all in the same room, heal bomb away, and we'll be shipping off. No, slugs do not move sluggishly, unfortunately. Yeah, they're quite nice. Quite nice, Waylon. The micro indeed was real. I gotta figure out some tutorial stuff to get uh, highlighted and stuff like that for RimWorld. Really gotta get some of that stuff up on, on YouTube and stuff like that so we can help people out for learning RimWorld. So I'm starting to get a pretty good handle on a lot of the mechanics, so... Pretty cool. What's up, Kooky? Happy Saturday to you. Hope you're having a good day. You're gonna jump over here. That's gonna show me, wow, five beacons that I haven't seen yet. That sounds like a good idea to me. Five new beacons, and then four more beacons, three more beacons, one more beacon. I could go to this nebula. You know what? I think I might go to this nebula, just because we have blue options with our teleporter. We can get free crew just by having a teleporter. Ooh. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Oh, crap. All right, we're going to attack the ship for sure. They have a missile and they have an ion center. That's not a nightmare or anything like that, but it's annoying because they're going to be able to deal with damage. But we are going to be able to abuse that slow rockman over there, which is very nice. You recommend the cooking efficiency setup and dealing with mech ships? Okay, let me let me write that. Uh, let me write that down. Sacriel already has a nice t cooking uh, efficiency, but I, I could do one too, I guess. And, uh, dealing with mech ships. Uh, so the Rockman, again, is going to be super duper slow here. So we're going to be able to abuse that and get all this 2v1 time with the Mantis. And let's leave. If that's a 2 damage missile, I, it, which it is, I am absolutely going to be uh, firing my Artemis into their weapons because I do not want to be hit by that continuously here. We cannot afford that damage. And you even shot down my shields like a douche. Alright. That's fine really care too much okay we're gonna go ahead and mop up this mantis here right quick very good and now we're just gonna abuse the rockman's uh the rocksman's slowness here uh whoops wrong way around billy you gotta put the piloting first and then switch to the I'm just gonna have him go repair that. I guess I could get evasion training if I had him in piloting. He's also not gonna be able to repair it if he gets stunned, so never mind. I'm not gonna bother Mike winging around that much. Whoops! Sorry, bud. I didn't mean to beat up your ship that much. Sorry. My bad. Nine scrap and a laser charger. Okay. Absolutely. The false cover turret setup would be a good one, too. Okay. that one down nine scrap laser charger laser chargers aren't amazing they are 
they're okay is really the all that they are they're not they're not the greatest they're not the worst they are a serviceable weapon and uh, that's about it get my guys healed up down to 11 missiles right now i really need to stop using this artemis missile and start using my lasers so i'm gonna have to upgrade my weapons here unless we see a store free weapons run as usual cheating little billy yep okay we have a store over here though let's see we have 80 scrap we have slug repair gel to sell. We could sell the small bomb and the Artemis missile and just use the heal bomb for heals. And uh, we could use the heavy laser with the charge laser. I need to upgrade my weapons twice, which would be a total of 50 scrap. Uh, I'm sorry, 60 scrap. So put us to 20, uh, 20, 40, 42, uh, 72. I don't know what that sells for. Was it, is it 19 that that sells for? I can't remember. So 81 or no, uh, 91. Any tips with the to win with the Federation C? I usually set up my boarding stuff Heisen with the uh, Mantis plus one Zoltan. That's how I usually board with that ship. And uh, the crew kills that you get early with that with that ship, um, you know, that extra scrap that you get and potential bonus rewards should like hopefully lay the foundation for getting uh, a, an okay amount of scrap to be able to make some some decent purchases because obviously you know you're, you don't have any weapons or anything like that and the f our artillery flak is completely uh almost completely useless like i would not recommend upgrading the artillery flak at all unless you absolutely have no other choice and even then i would still question it um i mean the fact of the matter is you just have to get a weapon set up going with that ship somehow so maximize your jumps, get those crew kills with your boarding with your boarding crew, um, and uh, try and find as many stores as you possibly can, and go to those those stores with the maximum amount of scrap possible, just to up your chances of being able to afford possibly multiple weapons from a single store, right? So, I mean, it's I know that's kind of like well, just 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 find good stuff is kind of like what I'm saying, but. I mean, obviously, you're not going to get crazy far without improving the setup in some way, but I would not recommend uh, upgrading that uh, artillery flak, and I usually board with one Mantis and one Zoltan, and then if I get something else to board with instead of Zoltan, I will do that, usually. You hate the ship and you want to get it beaten already. For, for sure, Heisen, for sure, man. If you have any questions about your run... Uh, feel free to ask like if you're in the middle of a run and you're like how the fuck do I win in this situation? You know what? I mean you could definitely totally just feel free to ask feel free bud If I'm gonna take any jumps before this store, which I want to because I want to go to the store with more than 80 scrap um, I'm gonna need to do something about my weapon setup because I can't use my missiles. I really can't it's not a good idea um, so I should probably, like, upgrade my weapons once, and then, uh, that way I could use a charge laser if I had to. What's up, Delta? I've been streaming for an hour, okay? Listen, bud. Who are you talking about? It's not me, clearly. How the heck do you fix the glitch when you highlight your crew members when they stay highlighted? It's not a glitch. Uh, you just have to click away from them. But I definitely do that all the time on accident. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I've made so many micro mistakes. Uh, swim fighter. The, and, like, accidentally, like... Like, because like, I, I feel like when I do one and I right-click... Like, because when you right-click, these go away, right? Or no, they don't go away. I feel like they should go away. But because when you select one and you right click, and then you go to select a room, like that, they still say stay selected that whole time. So it's like I'm not used to it. Because like when you left, if you have this highlighted, like a weapon highlighted, and then you left click, these, these don't get unselected. So like I'll target a room, and then like, and then I'll go to select them, and I'll just like fucking, I'll just. I'll like right click to deselect the weapon like you like you would outside of the ship and then I'll do that inside of a room and I'll move all of my crew. I do it all the fucking time. But like really the only thing you can do is is not have a weapon selected and just left click away from him. Yeah, that's just dumb. You click and it doesn't unhighlight them. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you can't have a weapon selected at all. Because if you, if, you, if you have your crew selected, you have a weapon selected, left-clicking or right-clicking does not they don't just do anything until the weapon is unselected yeah so that's that might be something that you're doing but i don't know what you're like you can see like i'm right clicking here it's not right click it's left click uh, yeah. Uh, yeah i i do uh, yeah you can hold shift and and, and multi select absolutely and you can do f1 through f8 absolutely and you can even hold shift and then unselect and deselect just using the keys uh, i i don't usually use f1 the, the only time that I do uh, that I use F1 um, through F8 for t for selecting crew is when I'm using the crystal crewman. But... Well, I've rebound a lot of the a lot of the keys in, in FTL to just to be more accommodating for me personally. How do you mind control? You need a mind control system. I use the shortcut E to personally, if that's what you mean. And I also have rebound hacking to Q. The powering the system is still L. Well, that's not always. The L is just like whatever default is for that. I never unbound that, but it's A, A through K is all of my system power, no matter what system it is. So system, whatever's on the farthest left is always A. Usually it's shield, unless it's any of the stealth ships, and then uh, SDF, etc. So, Let's see if I want to. Uh, like I said, if I want to take more jumps before going to that store, I need to try to not use missiles if I can. So I want to upgrade my weapons by at least one power so I can utilize the charge too if I can against like a drone ship, for example. Um... I think that's okay. Like, it's just 25 scrap and, um... Yeah, it's just 25 scrap. And I can take a bunch more jumps, like, pretty comfortably. And hopefully I can make more than 25 scraps in, like, four jumps, yeah? I would, I would hope so, anyway. You want... Kuro! With the four months in a row, can we get a bunch of wasps in chat to welcome Kuro back to the wasp guard? Thank you so very much for the continued support, Kuro. Thanks for helping me stay full time with the stream. Thanks for helping keeping the content alive. Let's see all the wasps in chat. Holy Hannah Banana. Thank you so very much, bud. You're the best around. Thank you, Kuro. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and... Um, I, I mean, I don't need fuel right now, but it's cheaper than what we would get in the store. I'm just going to buy one. Oh my, what the fuck? Where, are this, where did all these stores come from? What the hell's going on? Now well, there's a bunch of stores. It's a fucking strip mall over there down here. Put you. <laughs> Put you. We're gonna take like. Uh, I can. I think I can still hit four jumps before going to that store. Let's consult paper. No, I can only hit three. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna go like here, here, distressed in this store. I don't think I want to go to two stores though. I don't think. Okay, we got a uh, pirate ship attacking some civilians here. Well, let's see what's up. Okay, the ship can't deal me damage, so that's awesome. Basic laser firing at 10 seconds, mini beam firing at 12. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, board him and kill him. Just going to go ahead and abuse the fact that that Rockman is super, super slow. Over and over and over again. What's up, Rockman? How you doing? Why don't you go ahead and come down here? And then come back up here again. And then go ahead and come back down here. And then go ahead and come back up here. And then come down here again. That'd be great. And then go ahead and come back up here. I mean, if you have the time. If you And if you don't, then you can come back down to shields. But then we got to talk to you in piloting. What about shields, though? What, what about shields, Kara? Hmm? Yeah, no. No, wait. What about, what, what about piloting, though? Hang on. Hold on. Let's talk down in shields. Let's talk this out. Oh, no, no. I got to talk to you down in shields again. Hang on. I got to talk in piloting. Spam and board. We got it. We got it. We got to make sure we get all this information. 20 scrap, one missile, and a drone part. Contact the civilian ship. Hopefully, we get a double reward here. Not guaranteed. Ugh. Gross. 
Well, I guess we're getting a poopy human. It's just a great big old pile of poop, unfortunately. Listen, Kuro, I'm sorry. Kuro, I'm sorry. I mean, th these results don't lie. Th they don't lie. It's just no way. This this many tests can't be wrong. Human, human, human. You're definitely human. That's it's that these can't lie. Like this just can't be wrong that many times. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, Kuro. You're human. I know it's gross. I know. It's horrible. But the tests don't lie. They just don't. That's what you get for subbing for four months. You have to be a human, yeah. Sorry, man. What's up, Loki? How's your Saturday going? Hope you're having a good day. All right, you're gonna go into, into engines there, human scum. These guys are already getting training and fighting, so we're gonna go ahead and keep them in the boarding crew. So many cheat papers. Yeah, we have a lot of cheat papers. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go here to stress, and then that store is still the, gonna be the plan here. Okay, we're gonna try and be a hero and attack the pirate. We can see they have a heavy laser. We can also see that they have a med bay, and that's that's the med bay. And then they have drone control as well. So we're gonna go ahead and see what kind of a drone they have. They have upgraded dudes as well. That's fucking annoying. A defense drone Mark II. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go ahead and um, charge up this charge tube. Unfortunately, you haven't had a good day, but your good day may start here. Good to have you, Loki. Hopefully, we can get you a good day started. Hopefully, we can. Thanks for the retweet, Spawn. Appreciate the Twitter support. I guess I should probably get a hack drone on their uh, med bay in order to make this a little bit more reasonable as well. I guess. Uh, I guess. I got that first. That might hit. Nope. Nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to shoot down their stuff with this, with their, uh, oddly enough. The reason that I don't need to actually shoot down their doors, so if I didn't have a charge laser, we'd still be okay here. The reason I say that is, um, when I hack their, hack a system like that, I get free movement throughout their ship. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm not even gonna use the charge laser just to showcase my example. Um, so we're going to go ahead and board here. Uh, and we're actually going to board in the... I'm going to board in the shields. I'm going to turn off the hack. I'm going to let him down here. Let one guy down here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and battle this here human for a little bit. Get some 2v1 action going. Very nice. Okay, now this mantis is almost done busting down this door, right? But yeah, uh, we are gonna we can freely move through this room if we want to. This man is almost done busting down the door. He's gonna be running in here. But I get to still get to keep attacking this human as he tries to bust down this door. And even after that mantis were to bust down that door, that human would not switch to that door. Because he's, uh, you know, not, you know, smart. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing as well. And shortly this uh, mantis will try and run away. Gonna be able to do the exact same thing. They can't freely move those, those rooms, which is extremely freaking powerful, right? So, yeah, if I wanted to, I could get like some even training on my guys just to be able to freely bash down systems, you know? Because this guy has to, uh, this guy's gonna be like kind of focused on doing that. So I could go ahead and like go up here and like attack his, uh, attack his doors down and then I'd have free free movement on anywhere and since it's just really powerful to be able to have a hack on a system to stop them from being able to go where they want and to allow me to go where I want to go you know and I can even get them to switch doors over there too but we can get, even get some fighting training on my guys which isn't like 
isn't important or anything, you know, but uh, definitely kind of a kind of a neat thing. I want him to finish off the system so he gets the training, but that's all right. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and battle this guy. He's going to get low enough on health where he has to run back to the med bay, and he's not going to be able to run into the med bay yet again because we have door control, so he is very dead. Nice. 13 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drone part. Very nice. And we, wow, we got a store. Okay, we were going to jump to the store next. Hang on, I'll look at what they have in a second. I want to make sure we get my guys back over to my ship. All right. Uh, nobody else needs heals, so I'm going to go ahead and get that heal bomb charged. Okay, they have a med bay. They have drone control without a, without a defense drone. If you hack their med bay, can you heal there? No, unfortunately, you can't, Mr. Vainless. When your hack is active on their med bay, it does deal damage to them for the duration of the hack, but it does not heal your guys, unfortunately. So, it's very sad, but it does not... Yeah, he's not mostly dead. He's all dead. We need Miracle Max. They have a fire beam. We have no interest in having the uh, fire beam in this instance, though. They do have long-range scanners, which is really, really great. But fire beam? No, we don't want the fire beam. Fire beam would be okay if we were using a bunch of rock borders or something like that. Uh, but Or if we weren't having boarding in general, fire beam would be a lot more useful because it's going to give us more crew kills than what we might normally get. But we're already boarding, so we don't really need that. So long-range scanner is definitely something. One of your slugs has come down with a case of yellow fists. Uh-oh. That's okay. It means he does more damage, Waylon. <laughs> we're we're uh, not going to be getting a med bay or a clone bay this run is the plan. I don't want the drone control because they don't have a defense drone to go with it. We are going to be buying long-range scanners here. I might go ahead and still plan on going to that store since we got a store for free here uh but we're definitely going to pick up long range scanners it's going fantastic katash i hope you're having an awesome freaking saturday we're gonna pick that up i'm gonna sell this uh i think i need to sm sell the small bomb and the artemis but i think i might go ahead and sell that at the next store since this store doesn't really have anything that i want what's up scott onesie wilson welcome back good to see you bud Backup battery, it's way too early for the backup battery. I, I like buying the backup battery in the neighborhood of 35 or 30 scrap per uh, per power bar. Is there any way to switch out systems? Unfortunately, there is not. Obliterate. Nope. Uh, med bay control, drone control, backup battery. Nope, we don't want any of that. Charge laser would definitely be something that would be okay, but I have a charge too. It's not that... The charge laser is okay. It's kind of like a... It's It fires up to two shots, six seconds apiece. So, I mean, it has some advantages over a Burst Laser 1 in some instances, but in general, I would consider it just slightly worse than a Burst Laser 1, and a Burst Laser 1 is, like, mediocrity at its finest. It's basically just a very okay gun. And it can, like, if you have multiples of them, if you end up with four Burst Laser 1s, very suitable weapon system uh, for the most part anyway, but uh, not absolutely over the top or anything. The one thing that you can do is you can purchase a med bay when you have a clone bay and vice versa. That is one thing that you can switch out if you, if you, uh, well, I guess. Just stopping in. Cool, Scott. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you, man. So we're not going to be interested in anything here. I think I'm just going to wait until the next store until I sell any of that stuff just so I could, like, could just have more information. We're going to go ahead and heal up my guys. Let's look at my surrounding beacons. Okay, we're going to go to the distress and then to the store. I got six jumps before that beacon's going to be covered. So we're going to go something like one, two, three, four... Five, six exits. Five beacons before that's covered. That's uh, six beacons before the exit's covered. I'm not going to be diving here. Yeah, that sounds fine. We're going to go to stress in here. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. Correct. You cannot have both. Yes. 
Okay, we got a laboratory fire that's gone out of control. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, blue options here. We would need a Rockman or a system repair drone. Having a Rockman here would give us a guaranteed random augment as a reward. What's up, Kerr? What's up, Zlight? Kerr? I don't know. I guess. Um, if we had a Rockman, we'd have a uh, blue option here, which would give us a guaranteed random augment, which is said, and then if we had a system repair drone with drone control, then we would get a uh, blue option in which we would get a random drone of some kind, so just FYI. We're gonna dock and try and rescue the survivors here. Let's try and do it. What's up, Durb? Welcome back. Good to see you. What's up, KPEC? How's it going, man? Tense scrap and a rock... and a what? You had a rockman, and you had fires... I don't fucking know. They just, they had a rock, but apparently they weren't aware. Maybe Jones can't do scary things. Maybe it's like in RimWorld. He can't, he can't do scary things. He's a pyromaniac. He likes, he, he probably lit the fire. Ten Scrap and a rockman named Jones. All right. Scott gets the name. There you go, Scott. Scott Onesie. I don't think it's going to, Scott One. I already did Zlight, said it once already. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put you in weapons, I guess. I could board with him, but for, like if I'm gonna be boarding with one, like I like boarding with Rockman in a four-man boarding setup, and, um, uh, and stuff because we can utilize him to like kind of take, uh, take away the, like fight the guy that's dealing the most damage. Yeah, I already said it's light, so you got you got the one you got the one out of me. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have man weapons. I could have man engines. Engines is a little bit more difficult to vent out, so the Rockman would be a little bit better suited for uh, putting out the fires. And weapons is a more difficult system to train. If I wanted to board with a secondary guy, I guess it would would be the Rockman. If I was just gonna send in one random guy. It would be more easy to run the human over for a long distance if I wanted to board with him and the Rockman potentially afterwards. I think we're going to go ahead and just do that. The human has a, little, has a little bit of training and engines already, but I think it's a little bit better to do this. I think. I'm doing fantastic, Zoics. How goes your Saturday? Alright, let's go ahead and go to the store. Roper, of course. Those are all, they're all Rockman. Okay, they do have mind control here, which I think is definitely what we're going to be picking up. Uh, we're going to sell the Artemis missile. We're going to sell the small bomb. We're going to be utilizing the charge laser too with the heavy laser and the mind control. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good here. Do, do, do. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so let's go ahead and get... We're going to sell the slug repair gel here. Sell the small bomb, get the large bomb. No, we don't want the hull missile or the breach or the other small bomb. They're great support weapons, but I think we should be okay with this type of a setup. We have a lot of support stuff. Reverse ion field can be pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely, Kilo. Yeah, um, reverse ion field is one of the few systems that uh, stacks. So if you have two reverse ion fields, you cannot take ion damage. And that includes in ion pulses and things like that. So just, like, you could just be in an ion pulse and be completely unaffected by it in any way, shape, or form. 
You have a newfound respect for the small bomb? Nice. Yeah, you should. It's amazing. We know we're going to sell the Artemis, though. Oh, maybe I could keep the small bomb. I'm going to sell the slug repair gel, I guess. Hang on. Let, let me see if I need that scrap or not. We know we need the heal bomb because I don't have any other method of healing, and we're not planning on picking up a med bay or a clone bay this run. I'm, I know I'm going to buy mind control. Let's look at my surrounding beacons. Okay, we're going to jump into that. Okay, and we know we're going to pick up mind control, so we'll get that. I need more power. I need another uh, bar of engines, and I would like at least two more bars of power because I, I don't have any of my weapons powered right now. Don't need sensors. Don't need anything. Don't, I don't need any purchases from the store. It's just, what do I need on my ship? So I can gel is a little bit convenient, so that way if we do get breached, I don't have to actually heal up my crew or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and sell that. And uh, if we sell the small bomb... Like, if I use the charge 2 with the heavy laser 1 and the small bomb, I mean, we could definitely... Um, We could use that setup through Sector 6 easy, uh, you know, with this type of a setup, for sure. So it might be it might be a good value to go ahead and hold on to the small bomb, just in case we get completely hosed on weapons from through here for quite a while. So, let's see. If I buy one more bar of power, we're going to be down to 20 scrap, and then we can still buy a bar of engines, which is pretty good. I think that's probably going to be good enough for me for right now. So we're going to go ahead and keep the small bomb. I can actually get two repairs still. That seems good. Um, I think we're going to use the heal bomb and the small bomb for right now. We have ten missiles. No, I don't want to use this. That's right. Maybe we don't want to be using the small bomb at all just because of the heal bomb limitations. So never mind. I'm going to sell that. I lied. I lied. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have enough scrap for any more bars of power. I don't want to get any other upgrades on my ship. I guess I could get a couple of repairs. Just one repair. That's, that's good enough. And at this point, I want a bar of power and stuff, but we'll use this for right now. All right. I could have actually gotten one more jump before going to the store, but I think it's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Um, maybe I'll take... I'm going to take this ship fight and uh, the distress, then maybe I'll take this and then this and then go to the exit. I don't know. It depends on what these beacons are. But since it's a ship detected here, we're going to go ahead and do that. Are you planning on buying... Uh, no, we're not planning on buying a meta or a clone bay. Derb, but nope. Okay, they have a burst laser too, and they have a bomb of some type. They have no med bay or anything like that over here. We're going to reject their offer. And we're going to be able to abuse the fact that their AI is... Uh, their Rockman is so slow here yet again. I actually don't even really need my weapon here, I guess. Hmm. I think I can go ahead and turn this off, board this board as weapons. Start fighting him. Mind control the mantis when he comes in there to help uh, to help me, and then uh, uh, so that way we tack down his weapons even faster, and then we'll kill the rockman pretty quickly. Yeah, let's just do that. Don't even need to use weapons here. What's up, rockman? How you doing, baby? Hello, baby. Suck in burst laser too. You're having a bad day, Rockman. A real bad day. All right, very nice. We'll mop up this here, Mantis. We didn't. We only did one damage to their weapon, so it was kind of fortunate that we got that burst laser two shut down. Twenty scrap, two missiles in a drone power. Very nice. Really happy to see any kind of missiles here because we're gonna have to use missiles to heal my fucking crew, right? So, definitely pretty awesome. Battle slugs. Kicking ass, taking names.
If I wanted to, I could try to be a little bit more uh, uh, conservative with my bombs and start switching out these two uh, for my boarding crew and then using heal bombs after we've boarded with two separate guys. If we get really, if we get down to like below five missiles, then we'll start doing that. But for right now, I think we're going to say that this is okay. I need to get another bar of power here. Cool. That charge lays it online. We're going to go hop over to that distress. What's going on here, boys? Can we be of service? He ran out of fuel. Well, let's hail them. What's up, guys? Is it a trap? It is a trap. And there's slugs. Okay. Which augment is better? Fire suppression or slug repair gel, even if both are not important? Um, I would probably say that uh, the fire suppression is better, Kilo, because it, uh, fires can kind of get out of control. Breaches don't, like, get out of control, right? Like, they don't just take over your ship and start destroying systems, but fires can, so... Fires are more dangerous than breaches. Yeah, this ship can't deal me damage at all, so that's a good thing. If we wanted to, I could just fire on his oxygen. And then just let him asphyxiate. And if we wanted to do that, then I wouldn't have to board him and I wouldn't have to use any missiles here. My guys are already fully trained. I guess that's fine. I can just sit, sit we can just sit back and wait, because they don't have doors here in this room, so they can't actually access the oxygen to repair it. This guy is locked in that room. This guy can go from piloting shields and weapons, but he is locked in this center portion here, so uh, yeah. We can just sit back and wait. Yep. The slugs did not think this ship through. They definitely didn't. Sometimes you find these ships with level 3 oxygen. At least they kind of thought ahead, but not really. <laughs> Could drain weapons here. That's true. That coffee's gone. Come on, Karo, hurry up and train already. Just 50 more shots to go. I didn't want to do any more damage to their ship because if we end up getting them to a certain level of health, they might decide, oh shit, we want to run away. And then that, then I would, then I'd have to board them and stuff. And that's the whole, defeating the whole purpose of me saving a missile here. Slug ship now empty of life forms provides easy salvage. 21 scrap, 3 fuel, and a missile. Contact the refugees. Nice. 10 scrap, 3 fuel, and a drone part on top of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Since there's no ship detected um, on either of these, I'm going to go and jump here, then here, and then the exit. Sounds fine to me. Oh, man. 28 scrap for an NG crew member. I mean, an NG crew member, especially nice and early, is definitely a great thing to get for additional blue options and the fact that we're going to be able to repair a lot faster. 28 scraps, a very reasonable price. We're going to go and pick that up. Very reasonable price. Lost gets the name. There you go, Lost. You're not lost. You've, you have been found. Gonna go ahead and jump over to shields here. That's yeah, that's pretty cheap. NG crew members gives all kind of blue options, so down like in the long run, we're definitely able to make a lot of scrap just by having an NG crew member on board. All right, we're gonna go to this jump, and then we're gonna go to the exit. Yeah, it's almost a steal, almost. Terraforming team at C12. I, I mean, we'll offer assistance. Sure. Oh, you want to scan the planet? Oh. I mean... You know, I mean... It's not... You want me to scan the planet? I mean, I'm just double-checking. Because, I mean, there's just no... I. Alright, you know what? Fine. It seems your senses are no more powerful. 
No shits. Thanks. You can actually succeed on this event, even without sensors, by the way. If you have level 2 sensors, you have a blue option. If you have a Zoltan, you have a blue option here. Uh, I can't think of what other options may be. Uh, we know long-range scanners don't, because we already have long-range scanners, but anyway. No sensorinos. What's going on over here? Three fuel for two drone parts. Sure. I'll go ahead and do that. NG Homeworlds in Sector 3. Wow, we're, we're crazy great that we got that uh, NG crew member here. We can actually complete the NG Homeworlds quest, which could give us uh, a good amount of scrap, plus an augment that sells for 40 scrap on top of it, so we're definitely going to be interested in that. How's it going, JM? Happy Saturday to you. They don't have sensors to see my lack of sensors. Oh, okay, got it. What does that Zoltan do for you? Like a Rudolph strap him in the front of the ship to see uh, uh, to see better kind of a deal? Nah, he like goes into their station and like basically plugs himself into their sensor system and overcharges it and then allows them to scan whatever the hell they want. Yeah, we've had it succeed before. Um, even without sensors. Uh, okay, so like this little portion of the sector here is completely disconnected from the rest of it. So I'm probably going to go ahead and... Oh, wow. No, it's like completely disconnected. All right, so we're going to probably just go like here and here, and then we'll start making our way up here, then hit as many of these jumps as that are decent. All right, that sounds fine. What's up, gnomes a lot? Welcome back. Good to see you. Um, we're going to ignore the refueling platform here. We actually can have blue options with level 2 dudes here uh, on this event, but uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and ignore the refueling platform and hope for a ship fight. Nice. Wow. That's actually kind of a dangerous ship. Okay, they have level... Uh, they have some kind of cloaking. Anyway, we don't know. They have level 2 shields. Ion Blast Mark II and a Pike Beam. This fires, it up to, this fires a shot every four seconds. This fires at 16 seconds. All right. Pirate scum. Anyways, um, so they have three Zoltans on their ship, which is kind of crazy. Firing while they're cloaked. Okay, it's your business, man. So what I'm going to need to do do here is try to I mean I'm gonna I don't this is really weird like I'm gonna board them and then I'm gonna mind control their guy and their shield so we can pull their pilot which is good and we're gonna get them fighting each other now I'm gonna send my guys over to their weapons so that we can actually start attacking them because I need to get at least three charges on this charge too this is gonna this is gonna wreck my shit here I could hack their medbay. I don't have to, and it's not going to end the fight any quicker. God, that sucks. Pike Beam's going to be really not fun. Yep. Yep. I love Pike Beams. They're so good. Fine. Let's get... I need one of these weapons offline, and then we're going to be fine. Okay. Now we're okay. They're going to kill that Zoltan, which is perfect. Start battling these Zoltans. Um, if I actually deal a point of damage to their shields here... One of them will stop fighting me, which is kind of nice. They're going to cloak here any second now. Yep. Hack to cloak? No, we don't need to hack anything here. No, I don't want to waste the drone part. There's no, not really any reason to. Keep smashing their weapons down. I'm going to mind control that Zoltan, I think. Can I... Are you going to... Are you going to repair that? Yeah, you did repair that, you prick. I tell you what, if I if I run you right here, if I mind control you, then uh, you'll fight to the death, which is kind of good. I guess I'll go up here. Okay, he's gonna fight him. Good. All right. So that that Zoltan's gonna fight to the death. Oh, never mind. All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna fire that you then. Yep, he's dead. Alright. Anyway. 
So we kill that guy, and then this guy finishes being mind controlled, and we just mop him up. 28 scrap and 5 fuel. Really great reward. Awesome. There we go. Go ahead and repair that. How's it going, Cake? Good to see you, man. Yeah, we have a lot of time in FTL, so we are very, very familiar with the mechanics. Absolutely. It's worth noting that, uh, like, the reason that I knew that they were about to cloak there, by the way, is uh, not because it's like, wow, I just have such great game awareness. Like, the reason that I, the reason that I know is that uh, a cooldown of any system is 20 seconds. Like, that's, that's why I know that. And because the charge laser 2 uh, charges up to four shots, five seconds apiece. Uh, I'm doing fantastic, Cake. Thanks. Uh, and we have, when we have a guy manning it, he may, he runs the system a little bit faster, but, uh, he, he makes the charge a little bit faster, but, uh, like, we were almost to four charges on this, so I know, because, like, they finished cloaking, my weapon started charging, that's, like, kind of a timer for when they're gonna be cloaking again, so I'm just kind of, that's what I was kind of paying attention to. I need a heal bomb here, by the way. I mean, I was paying attention to that, but that's the reason that I, like, knew. I wasn't just like, well, it's been 20 seconds on my Billy watch. No, that wasn't what I was doing. I was just kind of uh, using the charge laser as a guide. Heal him up. Back to your systems. All right. I kind of want to upgrade my weapon so that I could have the heavy laser along with this charge laser too, or potentially the heal bomb along with the charge laser too. A lot of times with this mind control kind of a setup, I don't actually need the heal bomb. What are you talking about, Delta? I haven't seen Kuno type in a while. Um, yeah, let's do that, I guess. I mean, it's not like I even have the power to have that online all the time. Like, we're already struggling for power. I guess I'm actually just going to get a bar of power first. That's probably a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay. Let's just go up here, then. Just because there's no ships detected here... Um, nothing going on here. Just because there's no ships detected here doesn't mean we're not going to find anything cool. Energy-controlled sector is definitely going to be able to find some pretty sweet stuff. Your Billy Watch using your Billy Detective Decoder Ring and your Go-Go Billy Gadget Hover Pants. Exactly, Kooky. Exactly. Go, go, Billy. Win at FDL. I don't know. Sorry. It was terrible. That was the worst thing ever. I got seven jumps before we can jump to the exit. The way that I can have a good idea of how many jumps I have, if you don't know, is I use my little cheat of paper here. These little marks on the paper are the distance in which the Rebel Fleet advances. So I use this. I've marked this distance out like six times on the sheet. I literally put it up to my monitor. And that's how I get an idea of how many jumps I have. There's a Rebel Fleet Advance mod that tells you like kind of where the like where they're going to be. You could use that. I like my sheet of paper, so that's what I use. Free weapon! Second time we've got a free weapon on this run. So, yes! Give me that free weapon. 11 scrap ion blast mark deuce. That sells for 35 scrap, so that's what Welcome we're going to do it for. T-Bloom with the resub. Can we get a bunch of wasps and shads? So welcome, t Blue, back to the wasp car. Thank you so very much for the continued support. t Blue. thanks for helping me keep, uh, keep the content alive. Thanks for helping me stay full time. Thank you so much, t Bloom. Dun, 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 dun. 
second free weapon in a run. That's bananas, man. Please enjoy your complimentary wasp -o, wasp taco. There's wasps in it. How's your Saturday going, T-Bloom? Let's explore the asteroid field. We could take five points of toll damage here. We could find a ship. Uh, we could find uh, nothing. Could find some resources. Resources it is. Six fuel. Not too bad. Seven. Seven, Wally. From Waylon. Uh, <laughs> when I see your name, I, I think of uh, Waylon Yutani. Is what I think of. Me and T-Boom thinking on the same page. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, the bee's pretty good, Slicks. It's definitely not a wasp, though. Let's see, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, something. I don't know. I'm gonna jump here so I can spot out two new beacons. We haven't even seen the store here. Okay. Um, we could booby trap the cash here, which would cost us two missiles, and it would delay the fleet by two jumps. Or we could secure the cash, and what that's going to do is it's going to give us a random drone plus some resources, plus some scrap. Uh, we're going to secure the cash here. In sectors like 6 and 7, I would argue that securing the that booby trapping the cash would probably be more cost-effective, or it could be more cost-effective depending on what sector you're in. But early on, I always like securing the cash. And in general, I kind of like securing the cash because I like getting uh, my money up front, basically. 19 scrap and system repair drone. There we go. Okay, we got a store there. Okay. Well, I have 52 scrap, and I have a system repair drone to sell, an ion blast mark II to sell. And... Four jumps before the exit's going to be covered. One, two, three, four... Billy, you have a t-shirt with a Wayland Yutani logo on it? Honestly, it looks great new, but it gets better once it starts chipping and getting worn. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, I would definitely tend to agree. That's pretty cool, man. There's a couple. I want a, I want a Wayland Yutani shirt. That sounds like it'd be a really nice shirt to have. I also want to get, like, a, uh, a uh, Nostromo shirt or Nostromo hat like the logo for the Nostromo I think is actually like fairly mediocre uh, but it's just the the coolness of the reference is what I would like it for <sighs> let's see yeah I think we're okay with going to the store here seems fine drone recovery arm scrap recovery arm distraction buoys bunch of humans they have drone control with Steven. Okay. Clone bay backup battery. Now let me check out this other beacon here. Okay. Oh, that's right. We already knew what it was. So I'm going to sell this Ion Blast Mark Deuce. That puts me up to the level where I need to be to be able to afford drone control here. It sets up our run really well. Sounds like it was a used shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, and then I could keep the system repair drone for some random blue options. Uh, nah, I don't think we really want the system. I think I'd rather have the 15 scrap, get a couple more hull repairs. Yeah, this sets up all of my systems that I want in the long run. So I think this is what we want to do here. And uh, we'll sell that. We're going to buy a couple of repairs. Let's get us up to 25 hull. And I guess that's going to be it. That should be good to go here. We have plenty of fuel. Got a decent amount of missiles and drone parts. Not that we would be interested in purchasing either of those, really. All right. So right now, we're hopefully we get the NG Homeworlds quest. I mean, that would be nice. I'd 
That's a pretty good one. That's not where you got yours, but it's the same logo. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good one, too. Those are both good. Those are both good shirts. Cool. Let's attack the automated chip to get to the storage cache. This is not a guaranteed double reward, but sometimes we can get a guaranteed double re or Sometimes we can get a double reward. So they have a heavy laser and they have drone control. What kind of drones do you have, sir? A combat and a beam drone. Holy shit. Right, that could be dangerous. Right, let's, let's go here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're gonna get hit by this beam drone, which sucks, unless we dodge that. Yep. Shit. God damn it. All the hell. Let me get this, uh, let me get one of their drones offline, I guess. I kinda wanted to try to leave the, uh, heavy laser online. Uh, nice dodge. Great dodge. In fact, I go over here. Kinda wanted to... I don't like taking the damage on my fucking crew, but whatever. I, want, I wanted to take the heavy laser down so we could get a little bit more evasion training or try to against the combat drone, but then we'll do that now. Or not. Or not. Should have waited for the quad shot. If we get hit by this heavy laser, it's definitely going to be pretty crappy. The combat drone by itself is capable of dealing us uh, damage. Yeah, exactly like Cookie said, it's the uh, corporation that, uh, that like, kind of runs the alien universe or whatever. Let's take down their shields, shoot at the piloting once, I guess. Shoot at their piloting again. Okay, we got a level in piloting, and uh, how are we doing on engines here? Yeah, cut a few away, not too bad. I'll just wait just a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, charging this. No, I can't start charging the heal bomb. Correct. One troll. Yep. Alright, let's kill him. We got all this scrap back online. Very nice. 18 scrap. Hopefully, we get a double reward here. Nice. 13 scrap, 4 missiles of the drone part. Not bad at all. Oh god damn it! Yeah, yeah. I would, I would love to see Alien in the theater. Um, I've never seen. Um, obviously, Alien came out before, before my time. But I would love to see it on the big screen. It's absolutely one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, kooky. Yeah, you can post that. That's the space balls part. Yeah. It's the same it's it's the same actor too, which is John Hurt. Who by the way played an amazing doctor for like uh for the Doctor Who special. Really awesome. No, you it only works for one link and it only works for like thirty seconds. Or a minute, or something like that. Uh, no, I, actually, I think you can do multiple links, but it only lasts for, like, a minute. I think I'm going to take both of these ship detectives, I guess. Actually, no. I'm going to jump here, and then I'll have the choice between any of these three. And then I can go to the exit, because this isn't going to be covered. So I'll go here first. Okay. 
Okay, they got a uh, chain laser. They got a small missile, and uh, that's about it. They got drone control. What kind of drones do you have? A fire drone. Okay, they do have upgraded dudes, unfortunately. That's okay. Um, we are going to want my defense drone online. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my weapons here. I'm going to get Steven online, and we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to be able to board them here, and... Uh, and just use mind control to make sure that we get all their crew dead. Yeah. System repair drone. Okay, it's fine. down this door. Come on, Steven. I'm counting on you, bud. Thank you, sir. Let's try and get that missile down. That would be cool. Okay. Up my evasion by pulling my oxygen. Nice dodge. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get some damage in on that guy. Nice job, Steven. Smash down that system repair drone. Very nice. We're going to finish that guy off. Perfect. Up my evasion by pulling my oxygen again. Jesus Christ, Steven. <laughs> Alien is one of the few perfect movies in your opinion. It still holds up and looks better on Blu-ray than most recent movies. I would 100% agree. Um, my uh, my uncle has a, uh, or well, he used to anyway. He has a had a. Uh, uh, I think he still has laser discs, but uh, growing up, he had a copy of Alien on laser disc. And the thing with uh, laser discs is the data is not compressed uh, in any way. It's not like kind of like on DVDs. They're kind of in kind of chunks is how the data is stored. That's but like you can so you can play the movie forward um, smoothly. But if you try and jump backwards, you can't go like frame by frame backwards, just because that's not the way that the data is, is structured on on a DVD. But with a laser disc, it's all just there, frame for frame. The movie is there on the laser disc. So what's kind of cool is you could uh, go frame for frame, forward and backward on a laser disc. So it was pretty awesome to be able to, uh, like, you could, like, go and just see, like, the alien facehugger come out of the egg and, like, attach to the guy. And, like, it's perfect frame for frame. Like, there's no shitty looking thing. It looks like there's an alien, like, coming out of him, attaching to him. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Also, as a kid, I used to love seeing the uh, scene where Bishop gets ripped in half by the queen alien. I would, like, see that over and over and over again yep i would i would watch that all the time all right we're all set here we're, we're gonna be able to finish this guy off no problem easy peasy do 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 29 scrap and five fuel nice Bring my guys back. We'll get them healed up, and we will be on our way. Nobody else has dealt any damage, so we'll get them healed. All right. Do, do, do. I'm going to go ahead and take that ship detected, I guess. The bishop split was awesome. Naturally, what came after that scene is cinema history. Absolutely. I should probably get my weapon online, or my weapon's upgraded by one point here. Oh, hey, my oxygen's off. Did you guys know that? Just gonna wait for that to equalize just a little bit here. I could get a bar of power. I don't need a bar of power, because I can still, like, make this work. Okay. And... Do, 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 do. You guess you haven't seen these movies enough? Because I'm clueless. Okay. He's talking about the scene where uh, Ripley comes out of the um, out of the hangar door with the uh, with the with the loader and says, "Get away from her, you 
bitch. That's what she says. Absolute movie history right there. I think Sigourney Weaver as Ripley is like my, at least my like number number one or number two movie action hero or heroine, I guess in that case. But between men or women, she's like my favorite action star whatsoever. Really, really great character. What's up, Cannon? Welcome back. How's it going, bud? Good to see you, as always. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the ship fight, I guess. Too bad we didn't end up with the NG, NG quest or anything like that. The data stores here don't really matter, so I'm not even going to bother risking activating it. We'll just take the 12 scrap and be on our way. Well, I mean, I wasn't, I mean, it's not like, like, I wasn't around, like, it's not like I watched Alien or Aliens in the theater, but they're still two of my absolutely most favorite movies of all time, so, I don't know. Doesn't really matter how old they are. Oh, let's attack the ship before he can attack. We don't, are not interested in what kind of crap he is selling. Let's do it. Burst laser two and a basic laser. Oh my goodness. 10 second firing time and 12 second firing time here. Not a big deal. Easy peasy. Facts. Um, we will get, well, we might get dealt damage here before they're, before we're able to really do anything maybe, but uh, either way. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my one crewman out. And I'm going to mind control this NG. And then we're going to go ahead and move my guys up to go attack their weapons. That's what I'm going to do. What I could do here, actually, to stop that burst laser 2 from firing is I could just do a double shot from this charge 2 and then fire the heavy laser right afterwards. And that would take down his, 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 uh, heavy laser, his burst laser 2 beforehand, I guess. That would probably be a smart thing to do. Might as well just have one shield online at that point. Run my guys out of the room so they don't take any damage. All right. I think they're going to beat up on that NG pretty good. He's looking pretty dead to me. And then we're just going to mop up their crew. What matters is how many times you've seen the movie. Yeah, I used to watch Aliens all the time as a kid. Oh my goodness. I've definitely seen the movie more than 100 times. 18 scrap, two missiles, and a drone part. Nice. And we'll get the heal bomb charged up. Get my guy healed. Well, I feel like, um... I feel like that was just... That was like the style of futuristic kind of technology of the, of the time, Kooky, in my opinion. Because, like, going back and, like, watching uh, Star Trek uh, 1, the motion picture 1 and 2, like, you see a lot of parallels between, like, Alien and Aliens and stuff like that. Of, like, the 70s and the and, and, and then early 80s. of uh, or, or, like, in Aliens case, uh, the 80, what is it, 86 that that was released? Or 87? Um, it was just, like, the style of that of that era for science fiction whereas nowadays the style of science fiction is super like like that that used to be almost like kind of steampunk s just really dark gritty very cold and stuff like that but nowadays it's it's like sterile white shiny kind of thing is like the new style of of sci-fi i guess the futuristic kind of look yeah i'm a slug absolutely dj Alien Isolation, I think, is the absolute best. Uh, I, I think that's a really great game. I absolutely love playing through it. I love that game a lot. I think that the Alien Isolation is the is a almost a perfect love letter to the Alien franchise. Beginning to end. Let's go ahead and go to Mantis Homeworlds. Now, the nice thing... Well, actually... Hmm. 
<laughs> well, we, we won't be able to get Kazakh Plethkalik here because I don't have a medbay or a clone bay, but I can get his, fi figure out where his uh, secret cache of uh, stuff is. Uh, I guess I have that. At least, yeah. <laughs> because I have the teleporter. Otherwise, we need level 3 sensors. But we can find Cossack Plethkalik, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and do that. You're pretty excited for Alien 5? I have high hopes. Yeah, me too. Alien 5 is being directed by Neil Blomkamp. That's the guy that did uh, that did uh, Elysium and District 9 and stuff like that. The Alien franchise style-wise is an exception. Sci-fi was slick and polished most times. Think 2001, Star Trek. I think that Star Trek 1 had uh like 2001 had a kind of a white look to it but like start i think it i think it's wrath of khan has like oh like it looks exactly like aliens like that kind of dark gritty kind of style kratosh like i because i just watched it it's it might be one and two but it might be it might be just one or two i can't remember it might they both might look almost identical to that kind of style and and maybe they just uh i don't know I don't know. Blomkamp, nice. You love District 9. Yeah, I love District 9, too. It's one of my favorite movies. I like Elysium, too. It's not, like, the, the greatest. I love Chappie. He also directed Chappie. Chappie was great. I know a lot of people... Some people don't really like Chappie and, and Elysium, but I liked him. But Wrath of, Wrath of Khan came out in 1982. Yeah, and Alien came out in 70-whatever, and uh, Aliens came out in 86. So I'm just saying that, like, it's sandwiched between the two movies. I'm just saying that that's kind of, like, the style. But maybe Alien, like, set the pace for the rest of the for the rest of the movies, I guess, Kratosh. I'm not saying that, like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe Alien just set the pace for the, uh, for the stylistic change. I don't know. You might want to watch Silent Running. as an interesting sci-fi style to it. Alright, maybe we can watch that. Yeah, Aliens is 79. Alien is 79, that sounds right. Uh, Kazakh Plethkalik is, uh, is exclusive to the Mantis homeworlds, and, uh, if we find him, he's going to be on a, uh, ship-detected beacon. I think I might get a bar of power here. I think I like the, the world of Elysium. Quite a bit. Yeah, the, the movie certainly wasn't perfect, by any means, but... It was cool. Kind of want to get a bar of vengeance and a bar of power. This run is going really solid. We already have all the systems that we want. I'm actually just going to get two bars of power here. Because if I want my defense drone online, it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to have it online. Plus other systems, so we're going to go and do that. Attempt to download the ship's data stores. Since we're very early in the sector, I might as well try and have the whole sector uncovered here. So we'll attempt to download the ship's data stores. It might fail. So in that case, we'd have to fight the ship. We'll see. Indeed, we did fail. But I wanted to take the risk here. Basic laser, burst laser 2, combat drone, and a beam drone. Definitely a difficult ship. I think I'm going to be hacking their piloting here. So that way I can get a guaranteed volley into his weapons. Blade Runner is Ridley Scott, like Alien. Correct. So is Prometheus. That's also Ridley Scott. <laughs> That's also Ridley Scott. Hey, Ridley Scott, do you want to have H.R. Giger help out with the design of this stuff uh, uh, since it's going to be set in the same universe as Alien? Oh, uh, no. no. No, I'm not going to do that. You bastard. I think I could just do a well, I think I'm just going to do a double shot here. Um, nice. So we get that. And we even got a breach, which is amazing. Uh, just, to, just to make sure that, that Burst Laser 2 isn't firing on me. That's definitely good. You thought Prometheus was okay. I didn't think Prometheus was garbage, but I don't think it was great. I just, I don't personally consider it. Like, I have a hard time considering it a part of my personal alien universe. But what do I fucking know? It's not my movie, I guess. 
God damn it. I don't want to take my crew damage, you bastard. Stop dealing damage to my crew, you jerk. There we go. Gonna wait for the quad charge here, might as well. Act them. Take out the piloting too while we're at it, then we'll finish him off. Easy peasy. Mr. Level 3 piloting, you jerk face. We could actually already tell that he had level 3 piloting. I just. I thought, for some reason I looked at it, I thought I saw it too. But I was wrong. Get him a dead him, boys. Nice. 29 scrap, one missile and a drone parts. Not too bad. I don't know if I want to heal him. It's not like everything alien is awesome, but uh, I definitely was, you know, I was kind of hoping that they would have a little bit of more to do. I think that, like, the thing is, is, like, just Ridley Scott was just, why well, he just wanted to do a different movie. And he did, I feel like he just ended up, he, he just wanted to have it be a part of the franchise, but it's just a completely different kind of a style of movie. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um, do I want to upgrade my engines? I kind of do. Yeah, let's upgrade my engines here. Guess I'll get these guys full on health. I don't want to run out of missiles. It's not like we're really low right now at 14, but I don't know. Just trying to be cautious. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this jump first, and then we'll come back down here like that. That sounds good, because we know that the Cosmic Quest Click is going to be on a ship detected, so we are looking for him. Oh my goodness, they're being chased by a Mantis. Not surprised, is it? It is a Mantis sector. Two bombs, and they have a charged laser, and they're going to be boarding me as well. Let's aid the civilian ship. They have a med bay. We can see that. It's all good. I'm going to let this Mantis board me. I'm going to send as many guys out to kill them as we can. It's very nice that he boarded me in a four-slot room, so I'm just going to send all of my dudes here. We're just going to go ahead and uh, battle him and kill him as fast as we can. Cool. Get my guys back at the teleporter. That is two small bombs. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna board, uh, board them right now. Uh, where are these bombs going? One going into my dudes, the other one going into my teleporter. Glad I teleported my guys away. Aha. Ha <laughs> ha. What's up, Koopa? How's it going, man? Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're blowing my stuff up. My dudes are on fire. I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys over to deal with that. Or you just the NG would probably be fine. What am I control here? I want to try to get lucky and get the NG, but it didn't happen. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get those weapons offline. Okay, nice double freaking fire. Holy shit. That NG is dead as hell. Very nice. Get, get out of there. Oh my god, please don't die. Please don't die. Can you guys destroy that? Can you guys destroy that? Oh, it's a level two fucking med bay, you bastard. Hang on, let me run over here, please. I gotta battle you for just a second, here, bud. How are you still alive, you mantis douche? There we go. 29 scrap, two missiles in a drone park. Contact the civilians. They didn't survive the assault. 
But I got free shit, so that's awesome. 14 scrap, one missile and a drone part. Let me get this repaired really quick. Yeah, Fincher does not like that movie, uh, Alien 3. He doesn't. He's not happy with the movie that he ended up making. Uh, it's yeah. If he had made it later in his career, it definitely could have been something great. But I, I I think it's an okay movie as a standalone part of the franchise, like or as a standalone movie, like not as a like part of the franchise. I think it's like not not terrible. But I it's like it's so hard. Uh, like I was just talking about this the other day. It's like so hard to like look past the the part of the like the first portion of the movie or like just the whole fact that the alien 3 just like shits all over one and two that's like hey remember all those characters that you loved and all that stuff and we're, we're gonna have, see them again to go off on kooky adventures now nah, they're all dead now nah. so have fun with that Let me get that heal bomb, please. There you go. Very nice. 52 scrap. I don't really want to store right now. Did I say how your Saturday was going, Koopa? I hope it's going great, man. Always a pleasure to have you. Just go over here. I'm looking for Kazakh Blood Kalik. I want to go to that other ship detected beacon. Come on. Let's go. Room zoom zoom. First laser two and a chain ion. It's Kazakh Blood Kalik himself. We will be able to get figure out where his uh, cache is. I won't be able to get him on my ship because I have no matter clone bay. So we're going to prepare to fight. Oh, yeah, you don't even have boarding, by the way. I don't know who thought your ship design was a good idea, but they were wrong. Yep, absolutely. I'm going to mind control this guy. And uh, they're just going to murder that pilot, which is kind of nice. I could actually very easily get a crew kill without even boarding these guys. Um... Ah, oh, you bastard. All right, let's try and dodge. Really? Okay, there we go. We got a dodge. Very nice. That, I think that has a level three med bay. I'm fairly certain that that is the case. Fairly certain. Huh. Nice dodges. There we go. What's your level of piloting? You've got to be getting there. Two more dodges and you're done. This isn't the new Call of Duty. What are you talking about? Yes, it is, Bitter Please. What are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> wow, they have a bajillion dodges. Actually, what I want to do is I want to go over to their shields. That was a mistake. I want to attack down his med bay, but I need to have... Uh, his guy is distracted. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna mind control like that. I'm gonna run over to his. Oh god. I'm gonna run over to his. Oh god. Uh, shit. All right. Go ahead and. We don't need the doors. They're not on fire or anything like that. We can see that there, so that's fine. Uh, do that. Let's get that repaired, please. I want to do damage to his weapons. Let's do that right now. Thank you. And they actually got that stupid chain eye onto fire. So I'm going to pull down my shields and let it in. And hopefully it doesn't actually hit my shields. It is. It's going to, isn't it? Nope. It's going for my oxygen and it missed. Very nice. But you guys definitely have uh, like a million levels in your... It definitely still has a uh, level 2 med bay. So he had a level 3 med bay for sure. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Nice. He was he was out healing my... Uh, he was healing very fast, even with level 2. Maybe it, maybe it was level 2, but I, I, won't, I won't know anymore. Uh, we're going to teleport to check for survivors. You find Kazakh Blitzkalik slumped in a corner, dying. Listen to what he has to say. 
In his dying moments, he gives you the location of his secret stash. You strip the ship, wondering what other secrets uh, went with him to the grave. 37 scrap, two missiles and a drone part. And because we don't have the level 2 med bay or clone bay, then we don't get the additional uh, reward there. But it does kind of allude there uh, that you can uh, that something else can be can be accomplished by uh, like if 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 you if he wasn't dead maybe you know it's kind of like the implication the implication is level 1 teleporter enough for Kazakh's stash quest as noted right there yes Now we're purposely not running without a medbay or a clone bay, Zoics. Even if I wanted to get one now, it's too late. I already have all of my systems slots filled. Systems slots fills. I don't know. Lurk away, cannon. Lurk away, but oh shit. I'm supposed to heal you guys. Sorry. Glad we found Kazakh Blood Click. I'm not going to that Ion Pulse. Not no way, not no how. It's not the first time that we've done this before, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. Burst Laser 2, and they have a small missile as well. I got Steven to help defend me from that missile, so we're definitely going to attack him here. These guys are not friendly. They are Mantis. Um... I'm just gonna mind control them right now. Get these guys battling that mantis. Okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, shut off my oxygen and my heavy laser here just to put Steven online to stop that missile. We did get the missile offline, which is great. So now I don't really need Steven online at the moment, so I'll go ahead and do that. And we're battling his guys here. This guy is still alive, but that's okay. Get that heavy laser back online. Nice dodges, boys. Very nice. Going to be close to that mastery and engines. Two dodges away. Very good. Let's run my guys away. Are you gonna board me? He just boarded me. Okay. What? What is happening? You just boarded me for like no fucking reason. I'm gonna wait for a triple charge on the charge too. Do that. And then put the heavy laser into his clone bay to take that down. He only got two shots off with that, so we're not gonna be dealt any damage there. He's got a level three freaking clone bay. What is wrong with you? Come on, man. You're not allowed to have that. That's cheating. That is cheating, sir. I only need to do one more damage to his clone bay, so I'm going to do the heavy laser first, followed by two charge laser shots. Very nice. 23 scrap, one fuel, and two missiles. Not a great reward, but not terrible either. Oh, he didn't even take any damage. It can absolutely make the ship more powerful, Helmet. And if you end up uh, having a uh, um, the, uh, teleport automated reconstructive teleports, then you can, uh, you know, and have a if you have a high level teleporter, then you can just like we've done it before, where we cycle our entire crew uh, through the teleporter in order to get them fully healed if we need them, stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. We don't have that here, but we don't need it. Oh, that's that. Oh, God. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> hey, can I make this? One, two, three, four, five, six. That would have to die. Ugh. It's a free weapon. I should have jumped back to a dead beacon, I guess? Or I should have jumped to this eye impulse anyway. I forgot that that... I forgot that the quest was in this sector. I thought it was in the next one. Uh... So... Uh, Let's see. 
It's close on this jump, but I think I can get six jumps in before that beacon. So six, seven, and then we dive on the exit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dive. You sense two dives? We don't, we don't dive. Diving twice is not worth it. Does the dive give you the beacon in the bottom right corner? No. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I could jump back to a dead beacon. And then uh, only, and then no, I don't have to dive. But I think we're clear on that beacon. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, dive. I think that's okay. Uh, seems okay. It just, it's just the quest. Just the quest. I can't, that, that beacon would be covered after six jumps. Same as this one. Uh, it's just this one's really close. I have 112 scrap. Do I want to upgrade my shields to level three? It's not a bad idea. I'm not going to that ion pulse. Two drones for five fuel, sure. We're not super low on drones, so that sounds fine. A store, I can't go there. Can't do it. Let's go find Kazakh with Kalix Cash. Nothing. Okay, they need some help. Let's go help them. They don't have a teleporter. They have a burst laser one and a mini beam. And they might have bombs or something. Nope. With that set up, they can't deal me damage. I can just mind control them down since they don't have a med bay. It doesn't really make any difference. They murdered that guy pretty easy. I'm not even going to board him. We can get crew kills without boarding. We don't need them shenanigans. I'm just gonna wait for my mind control to come back. I'm gonna mind control his NG crewmen. Seriously? All right. I'm gonna mind control his NG crewmen, and then we're going to wait for that Mantis to show up. He's gonna get him down a little bit low on health. Doesn't really need to be crazy low, but we might as well just let him get nice and low. Get him a Detta, but 31 scrap, two missiles in a drone park. Contact the civilians. I didn't even get my heavy laser shot in there. I goofed up. 16 scrap and a small bomb. All right. We have a lot of bombs. I could very well use them. Let's see. Yeah, we're fine for this jump, and then we're still going to have to dive, of course. I'm going to get a bar of power here. We're doing really solid on scrap and power and just everything. This run's going really good. Three fuel for two missiles. I just, like, did a trade like this. No, I don't want that. Three fuel for two. Did I say three fuel for two missiles? Because those aren't missiles. Still don't want it, though. Let's get that secret cash. What kind of a weapon are we getting? 37 scrap, hole smasher, laser mark, deuce. That is definitely a setup that we could use. We could definitely use charge two, hole two, and a heavy laser, and a heal bomb. That's absolutely a weapon setup that I would uh, be okay with using. It's not like the nuts or anything, but it's not bad. I think I'm a little bit more likely to use a small bomb here. I might get my engines to level 5 just because it very rarely gets me away before the uh, ASB is able to actually hit me. So I might get that online. I'm going to make that decision here after this jump or something. Teleporter signal detected. Intruder on deck. So we're going to have a Mantis in a charred uniform here. Okie dokie. What's up, Kilo? How's your Saturday going? 
Uh, and we, either one of these could be wrong or right, but we'll side with the fugitive because I'm interested in getting a free crewman here. Nice. What's up, Frederick the Mantis? We want a Mantis for my boarding party. They got a bunch of NG. They have a burst laser too, a pike beam, and a bomb, and I'm sure they have all kinds of defense drones. Yep, defense drone one and an anti-drone drone. Run needs more flak. No, we're doing fine. Up my evasion for right now. I'm gonna do a volley first, and then we're gonna board. I'm gonna board with this mantis as well. Nice dodge. Mass rein engines. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get on in there. Go ahead and mind control here as well. Nice dodges, boys. We're good. Well, I do need to take down his med bay, by the way, because he has the NG med about dispersal, which is standard stuff. I could actually board with a whole bunch more crew here if I wanted to. Where's that going? Missed. Nice. Yeah, it's a very common mantis name. Yeah, pretty standard. Nice. Give me that breach on their uh, mind control. Or, I mean, their, not their mind control, on their med bay. What the hell? Cool. All right. Screw it. Send in the boarding, NG. Let's go, boys. Get in there. What's up, NGs? How you doing? How you guys doing? Hope you're having a, having a good time. Just kidding. 41 scrap, two missiles, and a drone part. Nice. Send in the NGs. Since we're going to be having to heal my crew anyway, might as well just heal them with... Uh, we can heal... I could actually, actually get all eight crew into this room and, and benefit from the heal bomb if I wanted to. What's up, Rajir? Welcome back. How's it going? You've been behind for a while now? Like, uh, like your timing is, uh, like your, your delay, delay is strong. Fred, Rick, the Mantis, Kilo. I could do that, but it's not gonna fit. Oh, the three fits. Behind in the stream. Yeah, I thought that's what you meant. I'm actually going to have you go Mandute spam. Get over there. 112 scrap. Yep, no dive. Uh, no double dive, anyway. I'm going to go and get my engines up to level 5. I'm going to get a... Uh, I could get a bar of power. I don't need it, but I could get it. I don't want to... Or, I mean, I could get a bar of... I'm gonna get a bar of power, but I was thinking about getting a bar of, uh, weapons instead. Uh, let's do that. Screw it, I'm gonna get another bar of power. Just to... Because otherwise it's just really difficult if I'm gonna be mind controlling or hacking. Because I don't have a backup battery. If I had a backup battery right now, that'd be pretty awesome. Let's do that. Welcome to Rise here! With the four months in a row, can we get a bunch of wasps in chats? To welcome Rajir back to the Wasp car. Thank you so very much for the continued support, Rajir. Thanks for helping me stay full time in the stream. Thanks for helping keeping the content alive. How's it going, Rajir? See, Link, Link is drowning over there. Link's always drowning with you. Okay. Um, we, if we pry this open, we could actually lose a crewman, so we're not really interested in doing that. Look at all those wasps. Look at all those beautiful, beautiful wasps. We're not gonna pry it open. We're just gonna jettison the pot. If we had a clone bay, we would pry it open because we wouldn't care if we lost crew because they'd come right back. We don't have that, so. We're gonna be d -d -d diving on the exit here. Uh, if their weapon setup is particularly nasty, I might hack it, or we might need to use a defense drone. We'll see what they have, but, uh, good luck, have fun, do good, don't die, kill all ally, victory, no BS. They got a couple of missiles. We're absolutely utilizing Steven here. Alright, Kilo. I believe in you, bud. Got a lot of viewers from all over the world. Vit? 
So, awesome to have you, bud. Do I want... I think I could actually... I could use my weapons here. Just, but, like, I could actually good, do a decent amount of damage to his weapons, is what I'm saying. Hmm. Let's just wait. I'm gonna do this. Have you guys run down here. We'll get Steven online by pulling down my oxygen. I'm gonna do that a little bit early. Make sure, oh God, they're both at the same exact time. Rip. Steven, please. Oh, that's gonna hit my shields. Can't move him out of there in time. Still gonna take the damage. Oh well. Okay, so now I have a little bit extra power to work with. That makes my life a little bit easier, I guess. A little more difficult too. I'm gonna take my triple shot here. I'm gonna do a volley with this first, and I'm gonna mind control their pilot to reduce their evasion. Then we'll ship the heavy laser in afterwards. Hopefully we get the hit, and unfortunately we did not. So that sucks. Da -da. ASB firing here. We have 45% evasion against the ASB and against these missiles. Hopefully Steven shoots one of these fucking things down. Nice job, Steven. Oh god. Oh no, that's fine. We're fine. Get him out of here. Thank you. Okay, so... Just about ready to jump away. Very nice. Oh god, where's that going? Oh god, I have no idea where that's going. If that hits my crew, he's, they're dead. Oh my god. Well, we're not getting away now. It was just ready. Man, I actually could have jumped away before that ASB fired. Before that ASB hit me. I heard the ding for the jump, and I could have done it. I had, like, a millisecond. I had, like, a millisecond there. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. I need this heal bomb. Uh, I might as well do this folly in his weapon. Nice job, Steven. Here goes my mind control. Yeah, we actually had his weapons stuff down there. Uh, I don't need that. Let's just do this. Um, can't believe it. I had it. I had it and I could have done it. So close. If they board my weapons, this is very bad. Or my, I mean, my, not my weapons. If they board my piloting, it's very bad. Nice job, Steven. That's fine. Don't care about that. I don't care. So let's go. Okay, so Slug Control Nebula or Rock Controlled. All right, well, we're definitely going to be taking the Slug Controlled here. I do need to get my Oxygen to level 2, uh, which I don't have the scrap for at the moment, but Rock Controlled is definitely a way that we could uh, die. So we're going to prefer the Slug Controlled here. I don't get to utilize my Mind Control, except for defensively against Slugs, but uh, that's okay. I don't want a Rock Controlled here. It does give me an option in Sector 6, but I'm going to still take Slug here. If you hack their medbay, it would also drain your borders to, or just their crew. Drain your board. No, just just their crew, and it also does not heal your crew either. Just FYI. All right, let's uh, steal this fire, I guess. Carl and Scott, no health down on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get my guy up to full health. All five of them. Slugs might hack your medical station here. Yeah, I don't know. What are we gonna do if that happens? Would you die? Uh, why would you die in a rock sector? Oh, well, the reason that we're not interested in going to the rock sector is rock ships are more likely to have 
cloaking, but they're more importantly more likely to have a lot of missile weapons. So like even with my defense drone to help me uh, stop missiles, like they can frequently have like two or three missiles and they can, you know, especially when we're sitting here at 13 health, we could just, we could end up getting hit by enough missiles to just put us, put us out of misery here. The uh, the rock uh, the rock crew are also a big pain in the ass to board because they have 150 health, but they, although they are quite slow. But uh, slug controlled sectors, a lot of times we're not going to be boarding here just because uh, they have a lot of uh, crew on their ships quite frequently. But we'll we'll see what happens. I need to get my auction to level two as soon as I can. I think I'm going to go down here and then loop over here, then come up, hit these beacons, and head up here. Something like that, I guess. As best I can, anyway. Uh, okay, you have two burst laser twos and a small missile. Great, pirate scum. Let's attack him. Mr. Mantis Bomber, Mamma Jamma. Okay, he does not have any uh, med bay or clone bay or anything like that. I could have seen that uh, ahead of time anyway, but we don't need this. Get the heavy laser online. Certainly a really dangerous setup. I'm glad that we have level 5 engines here. I don't think I'm going to board him. I'm just going to let him board me. If I mind control his pilot, I think he boards me with one less guy. Kinda nice. Doesn't really matter too much. I think I'm gonna wait for my mind control to be able to do a volley in his weapons. Oh, well, you guys, you guys are gonna have a bad day. Okay, so missile incoming here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my mind control and my oxygen. Get Steven online. Nice job, Steven. I think I might wait for a quad shot on my charge laser deuce here. Woo, Steven. Nice dodges. Already dodged three of them. So we're all, oh, wow. All six with 45% evasion. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh my God, that was amazing. Okay, let's get Steven back online. Uh, yeah, that's just good. No, I'm not going to get Steven online yet. Not until we do this volley. Fire all four. Mind control the pilot just before the shots hit. That was really close. I should have mind controlled just a little bit earlier. Okay, both of their lasers are down. I'm going to go ahead and pull one of my shields and get Steven back online. Very nice. We got the jukes. Uh, now he switched his missile offline, and now he's so I can switch the shield back online, turn Steven back offline. I guess we're just gonna deal with these guys like this. Okay, they finally just fucking teleported back, you bastards. Now I just went and dealt damage to all my crew. You jerk. Oh, come on. You're not supposed to actually repair things. You bastards. He's gonna board me with an NG. Let me know how that goes. Oh god, these are all flying in my face. Oh, Steven! Steven, please! He doesn't have a pilot right now. Oh, uh, now he does. God damn it, as soon as he gets a pilot. Alright, I don't have Steven. So that's annoying. Oh, we dodged it anyway. Yeah, this is not, not not too pleasant here. I'm gonna mind control their pilots. We're getting crazy lucky with these dodges. Like we have no business dodging this many shots. So mind control their pilots. We're, it looks like we're gonna kill their crew here. So we'll get this guy in the pilot, and we'll just do a volley in their piloting, and hopefully finish the fight right now. Nice fucking job, Steven. It, we did dodge it anyway, but I didn't know that that was gonna be the case. Oh, by God, he just murdered that guy. Okay. Nice. 34 scrap, two fuel, and a drone part. Very nice. Burst lasers are flying at my face right now. 
No Darkest Dungeon in space today? Uh, no. We're going to be playing more Halcyon 6 next week, Dusty. Just casually dodging everything. We got the jukes. Uh, if we if we are gonna take damage by these burst laser twos, I'll just jump away. Yeah, like we have the potential to take two damage here, which I don't want to do, so I'm just gonna jump away early, which sucks uh, a little bit because I don't get to heal my crew, but that's okay. Heavy laser two and a burst laser two. That's a really dangerous setup. I do not want to hack here. I just want to go ahead and attack the drone and then uh, hopefully get potentially get a double reward here. Stack the automated ship to get to the station. Yeah, 12 seconds to 13 seconds firing time here. Fortunately, they only have two shields, which is nice because I'm going to hack their piloting here and then I'm just going to do a, uh, a double charge on the charge two and I'm going to fire right now. Hack. And I'm going to fire the heavy lasers so that way we get this uh, shot in on their weapons. As long as we disable one of these, we're in fine shape. Because one of them, by the each one of them by themselves, isn't a threat. But them two together can be really dangerous. These heavy laser shots are nasty. Nasty mamma jammas. They have level 2 piloting, so I think what I'm going to do is just wait for the hack here. Hey, okay, I'll do that heavy laser shot. Now they don't have any evasion. We got some damage in their shields, and we'll just be able to finish them off. Get him and dead him. Get that heal bomb charged up. 28 scrap, investigate the station. Hopefully we get a double. 19 scrap, two misses and a drone part. Nice. Nice. get these guys healed up. We have a lot of missiles. I thought we were going to be a lot shorter on missiles, but we've definitely been lucky in, in getting a, a lot of them, so that's good. Alright, let's see here. So we'll go ahead and jump down here and take the ship fight. Oh, I need to get my auction to level 2. Totally forgot about that. Do I want any more bars of power? Do I want any other upgrades here? Um, Getting another point in weapons would not be bad. So I can have this uh, small bomb or the heal bomb online with this weapon set up. Sure. Dun, da, da, da. Heavy laser one and a heavy laser two. They can't deal me damage with that setup, so that's nice. And here comes the boarding team. I'm just gonna let them board me, that's fine. Wow, you guys are really bad at boarding. Really, really bad at boarding. Well, I guess I should, if I wanted to have that online, then I should probably just start using that right now. That's fine. Level 2 piloting, never mind long range scanners make that less important. Yeah, exactly. I could like upgrade it going into the uh, going into it lost. Yeah, if I see if uh, if I see an ion storm. Oh, I thought they were going to board this way. Oh. Okay. Um, stupid stupid mantis. I was going to wait for these guys to go back to their ship. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, they're having a pretty bad day over there. That mantis murders. That mantis. This NG's having a bad time. I'm gonna wait for him to put out that fire, then I'm gonna board him immediately. Yep, he's done. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to repair things. No, absolutely not. See that our Mantis is kind of having a bit of a hard time with theirs, so I'm going to go ahead and switch their places here. The NG does a lot less damage, of course, so that way we're going to be on equal grounds. 
What I want to do here is I want to make sure that the Mantis gets the kill, so I'm going to stop attacking him. 47 scrap, 2 misses in a drone part. So I had my slug stop attacking him. That's a good reward. Um, so that way, because because Kilo doesn't have enough kills, and, and Bored already has max kills. We might as well try and get the, the, the Mantis to have max health, yeah? Or max, max damage. So. Okay, there's a store. 65 scrap. I might as well take a few jumps. I can hit three jumps here and then go to the store and then make my way up here, I guess. Well, if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to make it up to this beacon. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. God, like that's going to be way, way covered there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we can make our way up here and then loop around. All right, that's fine. I just want to hit as many jumps before the store as I can, just to make it, uh, you know, make sure we have more, as much. Uh, we have the capability of purchasing multiple weapons, weapon plus an augment or something like that. Nothing. Come on. Come on. Long range scanners. Let's track them down. If we don't have this, if we if we were to prepare to chase them, sometimes we can double the fleet against ourselves, which would suck. But with long range scanners, that don't happen. What kind of drones you got? They got a flak and a burst laser one, and a basic laser, an ion intruder. Ugh, gross. Fucking gross. Do not like ion intruders at all. Kind of inclined to hack their, uh... You know what I could do? Since my defense drone can defend me a little bit from the flak, I might as well just throw Steven online. He can just shoot that thing down. Steven. Steven, what the fuck are you doing? You're supposed to shoot down that drone. <sighs> All right. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and 11 seconds. There goes my weapons. I didn't want weapons anyway, right? Look, Steven can shoot that stuff down. Okay, get him back in there. Tag it while it's bashing down a door. Good. Great job. Getting the boarding set up. Fucking asshole. <clears throat> uh. I could hack his med bay and then just board him right now, or I could just board him and then mind control him, or I could just, uh, this is my, whoops. I meant to, I needed to do this to get his other guys to come and attack this guy, that's what I needed to do, so I kind of fucked up. Cause like, if I, if I run over here, then, um, I could get some damage in on his med bay. But these guys are gonna kill him so fast. Hey, good job, Steven, thank you so much. Or no, you know, not, no, bad job, Steven. Bad job. Bad, Steven. No. Steven. Oh, my God. He's in drones, Steven. Steven. He's in drones. That's the bad place, Steven. Steven. All right, well, um, we're just gonna turn Steven offline because he's obviously just full of incompetence today. So I'm gonna get my weapons online and uh, these guys are gonna come here and start attacking me. So I'm gonna need to move my guys out of here. You can stay in there for right now, I guess. I don't know, you can just stay here. Run you guys over here, I guess. It's just we're just gonna start doing our normal bread and butter kind of micro stuff like this. Pull that oxygen for just a second. Oh god. Really? Okay. Da, da, da. 
what just happened? What did that just hit? God damn it. Small bomb this weapon. Thank you. Appreciate that. Wait for the quad shot here. Get that guy dead, please. Thank you. Up my evasion. Oh, I already we already dodged the shots. It don't matter anymore. It don't matter. Switch you guys around. Make sure we're fighting the guy with the most health. Okay. Really? You don't want to fight my guys? I don't know what the fuck you're doing in there. Oh, it's the ion intruder. That's what's doing that. That's what's making that noise. I'm an idiot. There, there he is. There you go. Good. Finish him off. 41 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drone part. There we go. Holy crap. <sighs> You're back from various home projects. How's the run going? We're doing all right. Doing all right, day night. We're not dead, so that's good. No serious problems. Just uh, some problems. Go ahead and repair this breach, please, NG. That would be great. Thank you. Everybody took a little bit of damage, except for the Rockman. Except for Scott. Scott's like, what's wrong, guys? Come on. What's, what are you talking about? Everything's fine. Can we upgrade day night to 2K? What? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the heal bomb in here. Move my crew into the room. There we go. Everybody's at full health. Everybody back to your stations. Let's go. I don't think Day Knight gets to have gets to have a 2K next to his name. I don't think that's how that works. Can a crew member get combat XP while mind controlled? Good question. I do not know, Kilo. I have no idea. Okay, uh, we're gonna take this jump and then go over to the store. Okay, they're trying to disable my dudes. They're gonna burn me out. Um, I think I might just let them hack me because they a lot of times this setups are so nasty that I want hacking as an offensive kind of use not not to not to leave my doors down my high level of doors does not make any difference here even if I had level three doors then uh, then this would be um Even if I had high, like level three doors here, it wouldn't make any difference. It would still shut my shit down. One thing worth noting here is um, my guys do not, my doors do not come back online after the uh, nice dodge missed right here. Uh, after the fight's over, I have to jump away in order to get my. Uh Uh, in order to get my door control back. So you cannot let fires get out of control on the ship. How are you doing, Kilo, on training? Just let you finish down the system, I guess. Just make sure he's getting some training in, I guess. All right, bring him back. I could have just sent somebody else to go attack this, this man, this uh, mantis, this slug, but eh, uh, whatever. Wow. All right, four dodges. That's fine. That's totally normal. Train the mantis. All right. You'll get one. You get one kill, Kilo. You've murdered eleven people. Eleven. Okay. 
There we go. 44 scrap, one fuel, and two missiles. Beautiful reward. Give me that heal bomb, please. Is it worth having fast level 5 engines if you can afford it? If you can afford it, sure. It's just it's a little bit less cost effective. It's not like it's useless. It's just after level 5 engines, you're only getting 3% evasion increase, except for the last level, which gives you a 4% increase. It's just a little bit less cost effective. It's not useless. But So if you have the scrap, then go ahead. You came back and you saw four dodges when they had nobody in piloting. They clearly had level three piloting there, or probably did. They have backup battery, which we're definitely going to be purchasing here. What else do you have? Uh, nothing. Okay. All right. We're going to be buying that backup battery for sure, and we're going to be getting some repairs. But really quick, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and stand up, walk around, use the restroom real quick. We've been going for three hours with no break, so I'll take my break a little bit early today. Usually, I just do it after um, after FTL, but uh, we'll do we'll take a break now, and then we'll just once we're done with FTL, then we'll go right into uh, RimWorld probably. So I'll see you in about. I'll be back in about five or ten minutes thereabouts. Um, so now's the perfect time if you want to go grab a snack, grab something to drink, whatever you want to do. Perfect time. And uh, Chair's going to be in charge. I'll run a few ads while I'm gone. I'll see you in just a little bit. Thanks so much for your patience. BRB.
Alrighty, thanks for your patience. Let's go ahead and purchase that bag of battery. Like I said, we're going to be getting some repairs here. Not going to buy any of those drones. Do I have anything to sell? I could sell the small bomb. We could use the heavy charge and the hull laser too. And the heal bomb for our final setup. It's not terrible. I would need, I need uh, two more weapon upgrades. That's 165 scrap. Gonna need all this fuel as well. I get a little bit of extra on the upgrades or on the on the repairs. If I upgrade my weapons once, then I could just start using the small bomb with what I have right now. So we have a lot of missiles. I, I could definitely utilize that. That's probably fine. Sure, let's just do that. Oh no, I can't. Not yet. Almost can though. What's up, Frug? How's it going, man? Twitch wouldn't let you buy cloaking. Yeah, far too late. We're, we're so full on systems. We got no more room. Multiple ships running at maximum power energy, but you can't seem to see anything through the stick nebula. It's going to be a rock and a slug ship at a standoff. We're going to hail them to see what's wrong. What's wrong, guys? You know what? Let's demand that that rock ship pay the agreed upon price. They might uh, deal us some damage, or we might get a ship fight, and in which case we might get the slugs to uh, pay for uh, pay for a reactor upgrade or something like that. What's up, Joko? I am going absolutely awesome. Thank you for asking. Hope yours is going great as well. Oh, Jake, you died. Your first edgy win. Oh no, you no, you won. You, their, their ship died. You're right, right, right. Okay, cool, nice. Nice, Jake. Thanks for the like and the retweet as well. Appreciate it, bud. First laser three here and a uh, large missile type weapon. The slime balls detector. De or defender, rather. What's up, Ben? How's your Saturday going, man? All right, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and board their shields here. We're going to wait for one of their guys to get over here. Then we're going to move my guy out of the room, then mind control here. That'll get their pilot over here as well. I'm going to go ahead and start attacking their clone bay. Get that offline, and then we will go ahead and uh, just going to get some damage in on their, on their weapons as soon as I can. So, um, I could have done some damage to their weapons already, technically, but I'm just waiting for the third shot here. Okay, their ship resisted the damage, but the system still gets hit. They still have their missile online. I'm going to go ahead and get Steven online then to defend us from that. Okay, that is indeed a breach missile. That is a four damage missile, so we do not want to get hit by that. And Steven does a great job. I could have upped my evasion there, by the way, but I didn't. Thing I did done goof it. That Rockman's looking pretty dead. You're looking pretty dead, Rockman. And abuse the fact that our crew is faster than theirs. What I could do here is I could uh, board with like a Rockman and a Slug, run my guys up here, and then uh, board in their shields, and then that'll pull their attention over here. That way I don't have to like pull my crew back and then run them in again afterwards, uh, and then and then like heal them up and send them back like that. And then this this way I can also just utilize my heal bomb to heal all of my crew. So that works out a little bit better, a little bit more efficient. 39 scrap, one fuel, and one drone part. I really only needed to board with one guy. Slug Captain is grateful, and he offers a reactor for a fair price. So 15 scrap for a reactor upgrade absolutely sounds awesome. That would cost me 30 scrap otherwise, so that is perfect. Do 
Do not want to accidentally small bomb my crew. That would be very, very fucking bad. Ready to see some dominating? Well, it's a pleasure to have you as always, Ben. Always a pleasure. Um, one thing to note, guys, I don't know if who, those of you, uh, who utilize Discord or anything like that, you can do exclamation point Discord if you want to hang out in the Discord, uh, channel. It's kind of like a Ventrilo slash with, like, kind of more, I don't know, it's gonna, it's kind of like the new thing for people to utilize for, uh, for, for, like, a, a voice system like Vent or, uh, Team speak or whatever, anything like that. So if you do exclamation point Discord, it's open to everybody if you want to hang out uh, before or after the stream. I'm usually, if I'm in there, I'm there during the week and in the morning and the af early afternoon before the stream starts. Not usually there afterwards, but just FYI if anybody wants to utilize that. Teaches discipline. Oh, God. I don't think, I don't think they're, the crew's going to see it the same way, two islands. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Let's get that upgrade on the weapons so that way I could use the heal bomb as I could have all these things online if I so desire. I'm gonna take these ship fights. We're gonna be diving in this sector. It, the exit actually has an event on it so there's not like as much value in diving here. But, uh, I mean, I could get, like, all of these beacons if, if I do dive, so I think, anyway. You got here, here, like, two, two nebulas, which brings us to here, and then uh, two non-nebulas, which brings us to about here, and then uh, two more... Uh, uh, two more nebulas, which would allow us to still hit that up. So in total, we have uh, three non-nebulas and four nebulas. Uh, maybe I actually can't do that. I think I actually have to skip one of these. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Was that a was that a boarding slug? Yeah, we have a boarding slug. Yeah, absolutely. We're boarding with a slug and a mantis right now. I'm not gonna board with the rock when he's too damn slow. Ah, a slug transport ship is stationed near the beacon. We have been waiting for a customer for ages. Care to see our wares? Uh, let's ask to see the goods. And he's going to tell us that he has some rules that we have to abide by in order for him to actually trade with us. And we're going to have a blue option with our slug crewman here. He can actually have a, uh, uh, like, stuff for sale. But uh, we'll detect some guys. And then now he's like, hey! They teleport away. Otherwise, they could shut down our weapons, potentially, and us, us having to do a ship fight still. So that would be a pretty big pain in the butt. Let's get forward in here. Get this slug dead fine. 11 seconds, 16 seconds. We don't know what kind of a bomb that is yet. Oh, it was a fire bomb, but uh, no thanks. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm just gonna fire at that slug and kill him. I ain't got time for that. Get him and dead him. 46 scrap, one fuel, and a drone part. Nice. Bring him on back. Heal bomb them up. And yeah, let's go. This is at least the third flaw design ship this run. Yeah, I think it's the third one, yeah. Sounds right. Ooh, there's a store. Okay, so two. Two non nebulas. Three. Okay, so we can go here, here, and still hit these up. And then here, and then here, and then dive. That sounds fine to me. So we'll be able to go to that store with a good chunk of scrap, hopefully. Maybe we have something a little bit cooler for us to purchase. Not that we're in, like, bad shape or anything. Okay, two heavy laser ones, and they have a missile of some type. A large missile. It's either Hermes or a Breach. Can't mind control their pilot. He is a slug. 
I'm just gonna let him board me, I guess. Eh, that's fine. What's up, guys? Oh. Oh, I see. What's up, guys? Yes, I would like to fight you in the room with no oxygen, please. I only need two shields to defend myself from those heavy lasers. So I can have two shields online, and then as soon as that's gonna fire... Which it looks like, it seems like it's, it's like not like turning bright or red yet, so I think it's probably gonna be a breach missile, because otherwise it's gonna be in the neighborhood of firing pretty soon. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do my volley right now towards their weapons. Well, right now towards their weapons, and we're gonna hope that we get this heavy laser shot in on their weapons before, like just as they're going through here. But actually, we're not hitting anything at all because fuck my life. All right, I was way too late. Still have the missile online. We're gonna go ahead and get the uh, that going. The defense drone. Steven, help us! Nice job, Steven. We actually dodged the shot anyway, but Steven still had our back. Oh my goodness! What the hell, guys? What the Sam hell is going on here? Trying to get some extra damage in on these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and have the human help fight over here. Yeah, you guys got a fire going on over there if you didn't realize that. There you go. Oh, you're fine. Actually, you're definitely not fine. Go ahead and help him. Get him and dead him. Nice. And these guys are gonna be running over to that med bay, which is totally fine. We're gonna go ahead and do a nice little shot in their med bay. Get him and dead him. Go ahead and have uh, you two not board. You're gonna board, you two. What's up, boys? How you guys doing? There we go, 28 scrap, two missiles in a draw part. That is a bad reward, okay, thanks. Those jerks. How the hell did you not take damage, Scott? You're a wizard. Not really. Oh, spam didn't take damage either, oh, okay. Yep, nope. Heal bomb it up. Is it possible to miss a heal bomb in your own ship? I've been told that it is, but I've never done it before. I've never seen a heal bomb miss my own ship ever, so I don't think so. I do not think so. I could be wrong, but... I... I think it would be statistically unlikely the amount of times that I've fired a heal bomb on my own ship. They have an Ion Blast Mark II and a Pike Beam. They have Cloaking. No Med Bay, though. All right. It's fine. I can mind control their pilot right now, which is what I'm going to do. If I tried to teleport over there, like, we wouldn't be able to actually get there time or whatever. Like, we wouldn't be able to do that. But we can mind control right off the bat like that. That will actually get their pilot dead. Oh, not quite. Oh, no. Yeah, he is dead. Yep, that's good. Perfect. Ben, with the four months in a row, can we get a bunch of wasps in chat to welcome Ben back to the wasp car? Holy crap. Thank you so much for the continued support, Ben. That's the max amount of months that you could be subscribed to the channel. Thanks for helping me stay full-time in the stream. Thanks for helping keep the content alive, Ben. Who's winning the match? I think we got this one, Ben. I think we got this one in the bag. Um, we can definitely board them here. I'm gonna go and do, do a little shot here, see if we get lucky with a shot, and indeed that is the case. Pretty cool, great. Yeah, let's go ahead and board them right now. This mantis that they have is pretty low on health, so. And I can mind control, even with uh, them being cloaked here, if I wanted to. I think. Yeah. I could. Because I have guys on their ship. Look at all those wasps. How's your Saturday going, man? Great to have you, as always. 47 scrap, two missiles and a drill part. Nice. Bring them all back. Heal bomb them up. It's a heal bomb, yeah. Heal to the face. In, in bomb form or something. Okay, well, let's go to the store. 
137 scrap. What you got? Automated reloader, a weapon pre-igniter, and a backup DNA bank. Okay. Alright. Well. Automated reloader isn't, like, amazing with this setup. Uh, the weapon pre-igniter we have absolutely zero interest in here. Because, uh... It only gives us one shot with the charge, too. So, and that's definitely our main weapon here, essentially. Oh, it was possible to miss in vanilla. Oh, okay. Wow. I did not know that. I mean, I definitely played pre-advanced edition. I didn't play nearly as much pre-advanced edition. Like, I probably put, like, 50 hours into pre-advanced edition... Maybe, maybe that. All the rest of my time is in Advanced Edition. Hmm. Yeah, that backup DNA bank. Oh man, so good. So good. We're gonna need this fuel. I could start getting my, like I could upgrade my weapons another time and accommodate that, uh, that, uh, whole laser two. Seriously, Reloader does not sound terrible. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're definitely uh, at least considering it here. We are going to buy all this fuel, and I... Yeah, buying the pre... Uh, the Reloader is good. Pre-Igniter is quite bad in this instance. But, uh... Yeah, it seems fine. And we are plenty fine on haul here. I am short on scrap for upgrading my weapons the way that I talked about, but if I sell the small bomb, which is what I would do, then I could, uh, then I could afford it to get that online. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Let's do it. Yay! All right, let's say we hop on up here, then we're gonna go here, here, and then dive on the exit. Don't need any repairs, don't need any fuel, don't need none of that crap. Let's go. Let's go, let's get the hell out of ya. I shall allow you to choose your own death. Which do you like least, shields, oxygen, or weapons? I'm gonna say oxygen. I could use hacking to counter it, but I have level two oxygen, so when we take that, We'll have level one oxygen, not level zero. So, pretty nice. A being that would choose suffocation? Who am I to judge? Screw off, slug. First laser two, firing at 12 seconds. Fire beam firing at 20 seconds. Small missile firing at either nine or 10 seconds. Well, this is boredom. I could do just a double shot here, try and get that missile offline before it fires. Probably not going to happen since it fires at the exact same time, pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to want to back up battery Steven here. Stop that missile from firing at my face. Thank you. Great job, Steven. Don't need Steven's power anymore because the missile's not firing on me at the moment. Um, I can do 30... Uh, 75, 90 damage to this guy. So no O2 kill? Sorry, I was AFK. I could kill him with the oxygen, but it's faster to do this, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, at this point, I don't even need my shields online, but at level 1. <laughs> Oh, we actually dodged a bunch of shots. What a bastard. El Nub Nub lives again. Not for long, though. There we go. 29 scrap. Gross! One missile into drone parts. Oh, man. What a poop reward. I mean, there's not much value in get Like, the, the reason that you get the oxygen crew kill is because that's the easiest way to get the crew kill if you don't have a crew kill setup. You know, I mean, if we had a fire beam, we'd be using the fire beam to kill them. So we're, since we have a teleporter, we know they only have uh, two crew. We might as well do that. Surprise, we're on the same run. Uh, what do you mean? Nothing going on. 
on here. I'm gonna jump over here, and then we're going to the exit. We're gonna be d -d -d diving. That ship has slug gel, though. Yeah, but that automatically repairs breaches. It does not give them free oxygen. So they don't have access to their oxygen, so you just take out their oxygen system and they suffocate because they don't have access to that system and they only ever have two crew and they don't have doors to access the oxygen. Oh, nice, Croc. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Rathacon's great. He's really good. It's my favorite Star Trek movie. Nothing going on there. Okie doke. Well, we're gonna go ahead and buy a bar of power, I guess? Sure, I don't need to buy a bar of power, but let's buy a bar of power. We're gonna be diving on the exit. There is ASB that we're gonna have to deal with here, because it, it's in a nebula sector, but the exit itself is not on a nebula beacon, so we do have to deal with ASB. That's alright, though. Wow, they got a Vulcan. They got two mini beams. They got a they got a missile. Okay. For the first bit here, I don't even need my shields at level 3, so I can just put Steven online with that level of that. We're not going to be boarding them, obviously. In honor of Wrath of Khan. <laughs> you had breached the piloting and I saw it repair. Oh, yeah. The enemy... Sl if, you, if you're if you fighting a slug-type ship, they have... Um, they have that system. They have slug repair gel. Yep. It doesn't matter if it's a pirate-type ship. If it uh, if it's a pirate ship and if it's a slug... But if it's a slug-type ship, they're going to have that automatic... Uh, uh, they're going to have the slug repair gel. Yep. I could hack their piloting here. Uh, and then do a volley into their into their weapons. I'm just gonna mind control the pilot though. I think. Whoops. Pretty good volley. They don't have a Vulcan anymore, so that's pretty bad for them. I only need level one shields at this point. So keep Steven online. Get my engines up to level five. We're definitely. I, because I had my engines down for a half second there, we're not going to be able to get away here. Yeah, it's going to hit me too. Alright, well. Go ahead and help him repair that, I guess. We're going to be able to jump away before anything else happens. Oh, man. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Go to the abandoned sector. We're really not excited about going to an abandoned sector for sector, especially 5, 6, and 7, because we're going to fight a lot of Lanius. Um, a lot of Lanius uh, bombers here, and uh, that is not going to be fun. That is not going to be fun. We There are some of the most devastating ships that the game has to offer. We're going to get boarded, and they can have mind control, hacking, and cloaking, and a nasty weapon set up, so we're not excited about this. Yeah, can we, like, go back a sector, please? That'd be great. Oh, that'd be awesome. We're not going to be, uh... We're not going to be um, boarding any ships in this sector. Unless it's not an Alanius ship, then we'll then we'll be boarding it. I want to get my piloting to level 2 here as soon as I can, because there's some blue options for that. Otherwise, I mean, good luck, have fun, good don't die, kill all ally victory, no BS. We'll see what we can do. We have the potential to make a ton of money in this sector, but it's definitely going to be a challenging one. And they have a charge laser 2, and they have a missile, and they have Alanius on board. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna mind control him. Wow! You just boarded me with an NG. Just FYI. What the hell just happened? What are these guys doing over there? Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna wait just a second here. Do this volley like this. Try and get that. Uh, 
that NG dead didn't happen though. That's okay. They still have their missile that's about to fire, so we'll throw Steven online. I was trying to get him to fight that Lanius, but I guess they wouldn't because there's uh, no oxygen. Oddly enough, like, it's kind of weird because this, this Lanius is, like, on their ship and their oxygen's down, so he's draining their ship of oxygen very rapidly. Oh, I can't vent them. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I can, with my level 2 oxygen, counteract a single Lanius crewman, so we're going to do that here. That NG is very dead. Wow. You can see if my oxygen is maintaining its level. It's actually going down just a little bit there, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. How low on health is that guy? I can't remember. Not low enough. Nope, we pay the iron price around here. I'm gonna send my rockman in the in the in the uh, slug here to fight that guy, I guess. What's up, Mama Jamma? How you doing? Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of there! Come on, kill him! There we go. Twenty-six scrap and breach missiles. All right. Well, we'll definitely be able to sell that, so that's fine. Four guys need healing. Yeah, the Lania soundtrack is absolutely awesome, Kashak. These guys clearly need to learn more about the Iron Price. Oops. 33 scrap. I can get my piloting to level 2, which I'm going to do. Seems good. We'll jump up here, so that'll show me four beacons that I haven't seen yet. That seems good. Getting intruded. Those metal bastards think they could just absorb half our engines and leave us here to die? Yeah, that's... Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what they think they could do. Yeah. And I think they just kind of did that. Can't take over my ships, human. They're not allowed, except except for Kuro, for right now, anyway. For right now. Get him and dead him. What's up, Fisher? How's it going? Happy Saturday to you. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, I reached for coffee. There's no coffee there. How? How sad is that? I, I always reach for coffee and there's no coffee. It's a wonder I even made coffee in the first fucking place. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to go to a store. We don't have any scrap, basically. I do have the breach to sell, but... Like, I, I just don't want to go directly to a store. Like, I wouldn't mind going to that store if we can get enough uh, enough jumps. Humans are laden your ship. Sounds like your ship is in the EU. Oh, oh what? What? I got four jumps before I have to go to that store. I can go, like, here, here. I can, maybe I'll do, like, three jumps and then go to the store. That sounds fun. Let's go these two and then the distress and then the store. Hey, look at that. Here's that level two piloting coming in handy here. Very nice. 43 scrap, one fuel, and a drone part. Nice. Very good. Go here, distress in the store. But you don't drink coffee anyways. Yeah, I don't think apple liqueur goes good with coffee anyway. Okay, Burst Laser 2, they have a Charge 2, and they have a Pike Beam, so 12 seconds up to 4 shots, 5 seconds apiece, and 16 seconds. They have Mind Control as well, and they have a Clone Bay. They have uh, one Lanius on board. I really, really like hacking piloting on this type of a Lan- Oh, no. I'm, I lied. I do not like doing that. I really, really like hacking whatever system would be here. I guess, because it blocks their weapons free from freely, I guess. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't... I still like hacking piloting here, I think. They have two Lan... Oh, they do have two Lanius. So I can take out their oxygen, but that's not... 
that great against Lanius. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hack this. That'll let me, I can like temporarily mind control one of their guys just by hacking their system and then I can mind control one of their guys as well. Let's do that. I might wait for the mind control to hit again. We're gonna back up battery here to up my evasion, I guess. Wow, okay, that's uh, annoying. He's gonna wait for four shots on that system. We got a full volley here ready to go. Let's just go ahead and do this volley right now. Eight shots, three hits. Got it. All right, I understand now. Nice volley. So what I could do right now is I could mind control, I could hack that to counteract their mind control, mind control one of their guys. And, um, my control is another guy here, I guess, to get them fighting each other even more. Wow, the two guys that are my control just start fighting with each other, of course. That's pretty cool. Very rare that I get to do this type of a setup. If I had a higher level of hacking, this would be a little bit more neat, but... Okay, nice hit in their weapons. Very good. Stop hitting all three shots. Hey, we got mastery and shields, I guess. Yeah, I love my multi-monitor setup as well. Okay, he's he's mind controlling me, but that's okay. I can counteract that. Look at you, Mr. Lanny is sitting all pretty in your weapon. Wow, yet again, they evade uh, five of my shots. Okay, sure. That's fine. And yet again, they hit all three of theirs. All right. Okay, I'm gonna need to take down that clone bay if I want them to uh, actually die permanently. Sucks that my guys did damage to each other. Now I gotta use a stupid heal bomb again. Damn it, they're trying to run away, what? Come on, yo, I don't want you to run away. Fuck that. God damn it, they're, they're gonna probably get away too. That's very annoying. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna do a volley and they're piloting right this very second. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, six fuel, six missiles, and 20 scrap. That's not like completely terrible. Let's see. Am I on a laptop? No. Let's see. I mean, they're, we're not, they're not gonna successfully get away here. There's no way, so I'm not gonna take that. We pay the iron price around here, sir. The iron price. I'm gonna let that mind control me, and I'm gonna hack to counteract that stuff. Oh, we actually got that human, which is kind of funny. Cool. He's back repairing that crap. No, bad. Get him and dead him, that's fine. Perfect! Get him and let him go? What? That sounds like a terrible idea. 51 scrap, very nice. Hopefully we get a double here. Okay, uh, it was a rebel scout. So I could delay the fleet by one jump. Um, I'm gonna, I could, I could use the leverage to delay the fleet by one jump, but I'm gonna go ahead and destroy, destroy the ship and salvage it. It's usually not a very good reward. Yeah, 23 scrap, one missile drill part, but I would just want that scrap because we're going into this store. I just want to make sure we have uh, extra scrap to do. I'm not gonna heal you, Kilo. Sorry. I'm gonna go distress and end of the store.
You have mind control ready. You can mind control the pilot. I wanted to wait for my hack to be ready, Kashak. That's why I was waiting. I don't know. I just wanted to see if we can get lucky. We can promise to help here. We have a blue option with our NG crewman. With our satellite defense system that's gone haywire. Remotely repaired. 59 scrap. One missile and drill bar. Beautiful freaking reward. To the star! Hmm. Okay, well... You don't have... You guys have poop, man. Absolute poop. I want your fuel. You can have this breach missile. Yep. Like, uh, this store is not really any good. Based on the size of your ship as opposed to the size of most enemy ships, aren't you the Federation flagship? No, we're a scout ship. We're, well, we're, a not a scout ship, like a, we're not a flagship, though. Like, we're not a warship, anyway. No, they, we don't. Uh, yeah, Cruiser, that's the name. That's the name I was thinking. Thank you, Psycho. We don't need to repair full here. We could repair, like, three. Three is all we need. Um... I don't want any of these crew. They have a Lanius, which is fine and all, but I don't need one. Du, 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 du. Why does your scout ship have 10 plus more rooms than the damn near all of your opponents? 10 more rooms than all of my opponents. I mean, this ship just happens to have a lot of rooms. Like, there's a lot of dead rooms in this ship. There's this is this is a non-system room, I believe. That's where the med bay would go. This is where sensors goes. That's a dead room. Uh, this ship has uh, one, two, three, four, five dead rooms. This is where cloaking would go, I think. Cloaking, med bay, and sensors. I, th I think that's where those systems would go. So, yeah. Otherwise, every... Oh, no. And then this is a dead room, too. So, one, two, three, four, five, six dead rooms. You haven't upgraded the heal bomb into a med bay. Yeah, we never, we're purposely not getting a med bay or a clone bay the whole run. Thor got... Yep. Like the, uh, the NG, one, what ship is it that has like the least amount of dead rooms in it? The, the NGB, does it, the NGB have any dead rooms in it? I don't know. Like, uh, I don't, I don't know. I did, maybe the, maybe like one, one, one room where no system is act, uh, can be put. I don't know, something like that anyway. I wish I could get some more fuel. We should definitely upgrade something here. I don't have to upgrade anything, but. We might as well. I get my teleporter to level two. Um, could get. Uh, I'm not gonna get my teleporter level two yet. I don't think. I mean, oh, maybe I do want that level two. We just upgrade all this crap to level two. Get another bar of power. Get a value point in drones. Sure. It's all this crap that I don't really need, but let's just get it anyway. What do you prefer, med bay or clone bay? Um, the clone bay is better, so I guess I prefer that one, but, um, they're both, they're close enough, and I, I would never replace one for the other in a, in a given run. I don't like the loss of 50 scrap. It's not worth it in the rock, uh, in the, uh, in the hard mode. Uh, three jumps before the exit. We're not going to be diving on this exit. There's no reason to. So we'll just go, like, one, two, three, and then the exit, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. 
Intruders on board. This is the second time we've had this exact event. God damn it. Stupid humans. These humans don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. What do you mean? From the start of the NGB? No, I'm just thinking of the, the, the ship itself. Like, like what does the... What ships have the fewest rooms in which no system is is in or whatever? You know, you know what I mean? I, I guess. Uh, like in this ship, if we if we were somehow able to get more systems than what the ship can actually contain, then uh, like we could we still need sensors, so that would go. I know that that goes here, and medbay goes here, and I'm pretty sure cloaking goes here. So all I'm saying is that this room. This room, this room, this room, this room, and this room all have no systems that are attributed to it, right? So that that's all I'm saying, is that, like, there's some... Like, you can't move where systems do or don't go. That's just not how the game works. Like, they all have their specific position on each ship. And I'm just trying to think of, like, what ship has, like, the least amount of rooms in which no system would go. Uh, if, you, if you know what I mean. If that explains what I'm trying to say. I think it... I think the... Uh, maybe there's a couple that have like uh, like one one empty room or something like that, but You've been watching a no pause streamer a lot and sometimes he switches out the medbay for clone bay Which makes sense given he throws the lowers the penalty for micro mistakes Sure, sure Yeah, I, I don't know if dolphin does that uh, in his no pause runs or anything like that But even in a no pause run, I don't well Sometimes in a no pause run, I do that. Yeah, but in in while while pausing, it's very rare that we ever lose a crew on mistake. It's very very rare. Ships where you can never install a subsystem. You can install subsystems on every single ship. I was just wondering if there was a sh like what ship what has that has no dead rooms in it. And I was thinking it's like or it has no rooms. I don't know. Never mind. You can just count the rooms without thinking where the systems would go. Sure, that's true. I guess. I guess. Uh, we're just gonna go like here, here, and then the exit, I guess. Sounds fine. NGB has no empty rooms if he has systems. Okay, cool. I thought it was something like that. Okay, they have hacking, and they have a missile. So because they have, like, we already want to stop that missile from hitting us, we're gonna go ahead and throw Steven online right away, so that way he can shoot down that hack drone, right? It's going great. New how's your Saturday going, man? I'm gonna act their piloting. So they do a volley in their weapons. Steven! No! Steven! Alright. Holy shit, Steven, that was close. You guys got a breach on. Did you just. That was my breach on him, right? That wasn't me. Yeah. You know your guys' weapons, like, they don't work anymore? I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't know if you're. Your ship like came like that or anything, but like it's definitely, definitely a non-functioning kind of a thing. I don't know if you saw. I uh, anybody saw the highlight I made from yesterday's stream for RimWorld? Double breach. Yeah, your ship's definitely really fucking broken. If you don't take Med Bay or Clone Bay, can you take a different system in their place? Yep, that's exactly what we've done, Croc. This is the only ship that does not start with a Med Bay or Clone Bay, though. So, this is the only ship that that is available for. 42 scrap, 3 fuel, and a missile. Nice. But I want to, like, we this this run, we're making so much scrap. It's absolutely bonkers how much scrap we're making this run. Um, we could, uh, we could attempt to board the ship and release some of the slaves using our teleporter here. Uh, yeah, let's try and do that. 
We could fail, but it would uh, unlock a free crew, and then we'd start the ship fight. Your estimation of the locations of the prisoners was off by the time they get their bearing and the slaver spot them. The slaver spot them, you, you beam back to the ship. Aw, man. Aw, man. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll be mind controlling the pilot to get a volley in here. Ten second firing time on the flak. Up to four shots, five seconds apiece on the charge deuce. Yeah, it's going to do some damage to your ship if you don't mind. Yeah, we're going to we'll board them, I guess. They have Alania, so that's a little bit annoying, but... Um... Wow, they're having a really bad time over there. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, oh, he's switching places. Okay, that's perfect here. Let's mind control this guy. I'm not gonna murder that human right away. That Lanius has like no health. All right, I guess we can just, uh, support him here. What's up, Lanius? How you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, you're dead. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks pretty bad. Oh man, Mantis is dead too. These guys are having a really bad day. All right, so we can take a Mantis, a Rockman, or an NG. We already have a Rockman, an NG, and a Mantis, so uh, since we have a boarding set up here, definitely going to go ahead and take the Mantis. That way we can have a nice little two Mantis, two Mantis boarding set up. Never mind. Take the Mantis. Notch the Mantis. 35 scrap, two missiles, and a drone part. Nice. Bringing it back. Sig gets the name. Nobody else took damage, just the borders. Just the borders. Now it's a really now it's really good value to have the uh, uh, teleporter being utilized at level two here, so that way we can can't upgrade the power yet. Um, that way we can do our kind of two sets of two boarding setup. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you later, Fisher. Hey, have a good one. Kill all humans. All right, Sig. Sounds good. Did you see what? I, did you see what I did there? I said a mantis, and that was funny. It's, it's, it's a joke. <laughs> What's going on here? Joe's fix it shop. Need a tune up? We got you covered. What are you offering? My oxygen for twenty eight. I already have it at level two, so I don't have any interest in doing that. No, thank you. I do not intend to get level 3 oxygen. What a mediocre set of sectors. We're going to go ahead and... We only have 9 fuel, but we do have long-range scanners, so the Uncharted Nebby is a little bit less crappy. Zoltan sector, we're going to be more likely to find stores that we might be interested in, but I don't know. Like, I think I want to go Nebula here. I'm just kind of feeling it. Since we have slugs, we're going to be able to see what's going on anyway, and we have mind control and stuff, so we're just going to do this. Two slugs for the second crew. Yep, we're gonna bring the guy. Uh, we're gonna bring Spam back in on the action because these two are the original boarding crew. They're actually mastered in fighting, and at this point, Kilo's mastered in fighting, but Sig needs a lot of uh, training. Oh man, let's attack the ship. We don't have any intent of uh, mind controlling him here. We don't want what he's selling. We're gonna attack him in the face. That's what we do. Oh, there's two humans just kind of standing there. It's like the shining. What the hell's going on? They have an ion blast mark one, they have a heavy laser one, and they have a large missile. They're gonna mind control me, but I don't really care. No Lanius in the Lanius area? Uh yeah, we didn't fight too many Lanius ships there, no. Like we didn't fight any any actual Lanius bombers. We got crazy freaking lucky. Yeah. I don't know if I want to board with that many guys on their ship. That's a lot of that's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of dudes. They don't have dudes though. They do have a lot of dudes. 
I might want to just do some damage to their weapons first, or, or maybe like wait for my volley and then board them. Or like take out his, if I could take out his mind control, that'd be kind of nice. I only need two shields to actually not take damage against this ship, so... Sure, and we'll get Steven online to stop that missile. You beat the game with both A and B uh, of all standard chips on hard today. Nice, new, congrats. I didn't see what level of mind control he had, by the way. Hey, there we go. All right, now let's go ahead and board them. They have two guys going over there, so we know that it's actually uh, a fire in that room. Sadly enough. Okay, it's gonna micro my dudes over here. I'm gonna get you guys back and going over here. I'm gonna mind control these guys to stop them from doing that. We're gonna back a battery against Steven online since that missile's flying at her face. Steven! Holy shit, man, that was close. Steven! Wake up, man! They do have a clone bait, but that's totally fine. Kestrel A and B on hard just won't let you win? Oh, that sucks, man. Nice. Murder these two. Let's go ahead and deal with this slug. They shot down Steven, you prick! What are you doing? Oh, man. They shot down Steven. I can't believe it. Hang on a second. Hang on just a fucking quick second. I'm not going to be able to stop that. The Steven's... Steven! Steven, come back! Steven! What am I going to do? I don't have anything to do. I got nothing. It's too late. Unless it comes... Oh! Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Let's fire the charge lasers and the heavy laser. Maybe? Come on, missile. Get the fuck out of here. Ah! Get the hell out of here. We are not just gonna sit there and take no damn breach missile for damage. Don't worry, Steven. I got your back. No problem. I was just firing everything there just to try and get it. Get out of here, breach missile. Domination. Yeah, get him and dead him, boys. Very nice. Calculated. 57 scrap, two fuel, and a missile. It's all downhill from here, yeah. 57 scrap, two fuel, and a missile. Very nice. Bring them on back, boys. Everybody else in full health is good. Hey, what the hell happened to my heal bomb? It's like my human was mind controlled or something. Nice. <laughs> Nothing to it but to do it. Well, you guys don't shoot down all the breach missiles every time? Come on. It's not that bad. Billy one Steven, that's that's what that's what we're doing now. No, I'm not as good at shooting a laser with a laser. And or not not as good, but yeah, still really really good. Makes it look like I know what I'm doing. Are we thinking about Shields 4 soon or no? Uh, we'll get Shields 4, sure. Not right now though. We're gonna get some bars of power. We'll, we'll get it before the flagship, almost guaranteed, just because that's the way this run has been going. Like, we have just an insane amount of scrap this run. We haven't had to spend any scrap on weapons, though, so that's part of where the scrap is coming from. Because, I mean, we didn't buy the charge, the hull, or the heavy laser. You know what I mean? Like we've so And we've sold every other weapon that we've come in contact with. Uh, this pirate will activate our weapon threateningly, and we'll see what kind of surrender offer he gives. 48 scrap, two fuel, sure, that's fine. Especially the fuel, that we, which we definitely need, so that sounds fine to me. Yeah, we didn't lose a win streak with this one. Yeah, that's true. Four shields, they have an Iron Blast Mark 1. 
Heavy laser two, and a basic laser, and a bomb. Okay, we're gonna definitely hack their evasion here. Can you get a random shit like weapons and stuff from activating your weapons threateningly there? Um, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, we're going to hack piloting, so that way we can guarantee all of our shots here. And they only have level 1 piloting, so that's pretty hilariously bad for them. Hack them now. Do that volley in their piloting just to get their base with nothing. And then we'll go ahead and lower their cloaking. They had level 3 cloaking. That's fine. Now that they have no evasion, I don't have to wait for the uh, hack in order to do another volley on them here. I'm not 100% sure on that. If we get ionized in my shields, then we have a really bad time. Fuck. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're all right. Nice breach. Awesome. If that ion hits my shields, let <laughs> me have no shields. Okay, there we go. We already took down their weapons, though, so that's fine. Um, I think I can do a volley here before they cloak. Yep. Get him and dead him, boys. Very nice. 44 scrap, 3 fuel, 2 missiles. Really, really happy to get the fuel there. Ooh, a store. We have 111 scrap. I have nothing to sell, but we could definitely buy something, I guess. What are we looking for? Um, like, my weapon setup's not the nuts or anything, but it's definitely perfectly acceptable. Like, I could have a flak or something in place of this charge, too, or a burst laser, too, in place of this. Because I'm usually only using it for three shots anyway. And it would open up a value point in my weapons, which would be kind of nice. If you play the NGB from selected systems, you only have one room empty. Oh, okay, DJ. Yeah. I can't remember which room it is. Is it the room to the left of oxygen? No, that's that's the room. Because uh, and then and then to the right of weapons is where sensors would go once you purchase that. Is it the room to the right of that? Maybe I'm not sure. We should aim for more scrap. <laughs> Could do that. Uh, like, if they had an automated reloader, we would buy that. If they had a... I don't know. If they had a shield recharge booster, we'd buy that. Yeah, I'll just go to the store, screw it. Give me something good. Ooh, heavy laser deuce. How are we supposed to get swag sensors if we don't get sensors? Hmm... I do like me some heavy laser two. I could replace the whole laser two with that. It's not bad. <laughs> we're, it's it's golf in the sense that we're looking for the the lowest amount of uh, I don't know what what's what's the what's the what's the low thing that we're going for? Not humans' deaths. We're definitely trying to go for the maximum amount of those. Um, I could technically do the whole laser two with the heavy laser two and the heavy laser one. That'd be a thing. <laughs> Get a second charge laser two. That's the real thing to do here. The halberd beam is actually absolutely a fantastic, and it and it works well with the charge two. It works well with the whole setup, and it's it's technically like, you know, it's, it's it's really really strong. But I, I just like the heavy laser two more. It's not like they're they're actually kind of like the halberd beam burst laser or heavy laser two and the hull laser two are all kind of comparable weapons. Halberd beam is definitely the best. H heavy laser's a second, I would say, and the hull laser's third. But um, just because they're all three power weapons, they're good like finishing kind of things when enemy ship uh, enemy shields are down, stuff like that. 
Like, the halberd beam would technically be better, but I like the heavy laser 2 more. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this, and I'm going to buy the heavy laser 2. And we're going to buy senses. We've come to our senses. Need to give a picture to see what the NGB looks like. My brain is fried with college of mine. That's fine. Just, uh, there you go. beam in combination with the charge that's definitely the better setup but i just want the heavy laser setup it's not because it's better it's just because it's what i like it's what i want uh yeah so it fills everything yep there's no not a single dead room cool Well, I mean, if you, you can't fill every single room with a system because you can't have nine systems, but I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? Like, that there's no, there's no pointless room in that ship. Like, they all serve a purpose, technically. That's all I was kind of trying to say, you know. What's up, Bomb Maz? Welcome back. How's it going? I don't need an, uh, any fuel to get out of the sector, I don't think. How many jumps does it look like I have here? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I have exactly enough to fuel to get out of the sector, actually. Maybe I want, like, a couple just in case. If somebody wants fuel or something like that. Something weird happens. Let's get a bar of power. Actually, no, let's get level. No, let's get a bar of power. Nope. Work sent you an Oculus? Nice. Nice. That's pretty cool. I've never used an Oculus or uh, anything like that. I definitely seem like the technology is kind of, uh, you know, it's like we're actually getting to a point where that kind of technology is actually pretty decent for the first time. Nothing. Okay. Let's go up here. Why don't you guys have shields? We're gonna attack you. Yeah, I know you have mind control, but why don't you have shields? And you have two heavy on- Your weapon setup is so terrible. It's so bad, though. It's so bad, though. Oh my god, and you have level one- Where is your power? Where did your power go? You had level one piloting. You have a six power weapon setup. I, I didn't see what his mind control was. Maybe it's a high level mind control. Whoops. Oh, I did way too much damage. One. Two. Three. Well, level mind control. Uh, it's level two mind control. Man, I'm really curious. I wish I knew how many levels of engines they had. I really do. Oh well. That was still online, so... Uh, alright. Oh, there they, they went offline. Wow, they had a lot of levels of engines, but it wasn't enough. Plus unreleased developer controllers, but shh. Okay, shh. Don't talk about it. Shh. 57 scrap. Investigate the station. Nah, I'm not gonna waste the hack drone. We only have 11. You know, we're using not only hacking, but also drones. Investigate! What's up, Uncle Steven? How you doing? What's up, Uncle Steven? Uncle Mario, have you been drinking again? Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side? I don't wanna do the Mario! <laughs> Trade in two missiles for three dome parts, please. Thank you. You'll do the goddamn Mario if I tell you. From side to side, come on, it's time to go do the Mario. Take one step and then again, let's do the Mario all together now. Seven jumps before this beacon. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Well, let's see. We we could probably we probably have to go down here first. Hit these three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight dive. That seems good. I don't need my high, high level of sensors here. They don't do anything. Screw it, I'm just buying more power. We're just maxed out on power in Sector 7. Yeah, that's really uncommon. Wants to know what hair conditioner th that I use? I use, uh... I use... the 3-in-1 hair and body wash, uh, what's, whatever it says, uh, from... Uh, from Old Spice. That's what I use. So, I have, like, nothing fancy. I always make sure to let the conditioner uh, uh, portion of the wash soak in, though. Have you ever used that mod that you mentioned earlier that shows the jumps? Just wondering if it's accurate. Um, I think it might not work for nebulas, or maybe it used to not work slicks, but I've never used it before. Twins used to use it. Uh, um, I don't know if Dol I don't think Dolphin uses it. Maybe he does, but I don't think he does. Not last time I saw anyway. First laser 2, they have a missile and they have a bomb. What's up, Kilana? How's it going? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. What's up, Dirtus? This is your Old Spice rep. Thanks for the plug. Where do I send the check? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know. You know, Dirtus. You know where to send it. She says thanks. No problem. It's completely accurate except for uh, n uh, nebula jumps. Okay. Let's attack, attack the ship. And they're going to board me as well, by the way. Which is totally fine. No, I don't care. I could board him to get him to not board me. Because if I if this guy enters, then I mind control this guy. Oh, he's actually still going to board me with one guy. All right, that's fine. Uh, you you dang, dang old did done goofed, human. Do the Mario. All right, Dragon, we'll catch you later. Have a great one, man. Yep, thanks for the help. I don't want, well, I don't want Terry Crews to show up randomly. No. No. Oh, no. Um, we're going to be boarding them here. Do I want to do a volley in his med bay? Or do I want, I probably want to do a volley in his weapons, right? Probably. I'm hoping to get that missile offline before it fires. Yes! Beautiful. Okay. These humans are definitely going to die here. His med bay's... Oh. He just... He, he ran into his med bay and was just like, never mind, I gotta... I gotta go. Okay, that human's dead. Cool. Let's, uh, let's all board... Let's all board the shields. All aboard. Excuse me, sir. Did you know that your med bay had some heavy lasers in it? Yeah, I don't know who put those there. That's definitely those are definitely happening though. Oh, he's dead. 63 scrap, one missile, a drone part, and a pike beam. Alright. Seems legit. Come on back. I wish old spice would do their twitch thing again. That was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. What didn't they did they do like a like something where you could control the, the the person or something like that? Wasn't it like a guy wandering around in the woods? Kind of a thing. Seems like I remember that happening. Uh yeah, we don't have any intent of using that pike beam. Not that it's a bad weapon. But I just don't want it. Because we got heavy lasers. And... Uh, I, don't, I don't need anything. Let's just save for level 3. Level 4 shields. What's up, Dogman? Kappa check. Kappa check? What? My Kappa doesn't work. I don't know. I, I, mine, I don't know. Mine, mine is, does, I don't think mine, I don't think mine works. 
<sighs> Nothing going on here, that's fine. Where was I jumping again? I don't, uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five jumps before this beacon. One, two. Oh yeah, here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, babe, babe. So I have to hit all these beacons. Someday you'll get the golden cap and receive a green sword. <laughs> that's how that's how everybody gets theirs. Okay, we're gonna be jumping into an ion storm here though. Um, so we're gonna have half power. So we're gonna be down to a an abysmal um, thirteen power here. Three, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There we go. Plus, we have the backup battery that we can utilize if we so choose. I don't think we're gonna suffer this one too bad. They got a heavy laser too. They got a bomb. They have hacking and they have drone control. Okay. I think we're probably gonna put Steven online. They have a combat drone too. What the fuck? All right, fine. They're not hacking me though, so that's nice. Uh, boy. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna do a full volley into something here. I don't know. This has the potential to be really fucking dangerous, by the way. I guess Heavy Laser 2 is no fucking joke. Hmm. I could do a vault volley into his piloting and it won't change his weapon setup at all. That's one thing to, that's kind of cool is like, right, if, if we deal damage to a system that requires, that has, that they're utilizing the power in, they'll put that power somewhere else. So it can be kind of a good value to, um, to, uh, to just like, if they can't, if they have, if they've chosen a setup that cannot deal you damage, then you can just focus on their piloting because it doesn't require power, right? Or an empty room or whatever, but let's see. Get these fucking drones offline, man. That right there is seven power and drones. If they have any other drones online, then they are they are straight up cheating. Yeah, let's pour down here and get these guys off of repairing their systems. We'll have to take down their, uh, I don't have to, but we're gonna take down their clone bay with my shots. I could, I could do it with something else, but we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna fire the heavy lasers first, just cause I don't need to do a ton of damage to them. Just need to get their clone made down, yeah? I only need one shield online here, technically, but they're already dead, so that's fine. 52 scrap, 2 fuel, and a missile. Nice. Bring them back, boys. Level 2 backup battery for more power. We could. Could have. Don't need it. We're fan. Heal them up. Let's, oh, we're actually gonna get a store too. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we can sell that pike beam something. Okie doke. So we always want to actually, even though we don't need crew, we we could replace Kuro though. But uh, we could uh, we we're gonna want to use the teleporter here because this is actually a guaranteed better reward than the long range scanners. The long range scanners has different rewards for for this. Like some could be medium, some could be low. And uh, and stuff like that. You can get a crew you might not. Teleporter, you always get a medium reward and you always get a free crew. So, we got a Mantis. We got a Mantis! And 41 scrap! Okay. So I can do like a double, like a, uh, a, a double boarding setup here. Um, I probably... Do I have anybody with a level in weapons? No. Ah, I actually kind of want Kuro then. Gross. 
how do I want the human here? All right, well, I guess... Uh, if I had somebody that had training in weapons, that would be one thing. I don't even have one level of weapons in anybody, though. And just, just, uh, just on the human. So, I think we're gonna go ahead and have, uh, spam evolve here. Or board, it doesn't really make any difference. But that way I can have a two-man boarding setup and have more mantis and stuff. So, listen, spam. I, we got this guy... I know it's weird, but, like, he's a mantis, and he's willing to take your spot on the ship, and... Like, I know you're not a human and all that, but I gotta vent you into space, man. Look, he's... Listen. Listen, the human's family has a lot of... Uh, Crow's family has a lot of pull with the Federation, so we have to just go ahead and vent you into space, man. I'm sorry, man. Don't worry. A mantis has taken your place. He's pretty awesome. We'll catch you later, spam. All right, have a good one. Ah! Weapons will train real fast, right? No, not really. I'm gonna have you go down here. You go over here. Sorry, spam. We're gonna use the poopy human over you. I'm gonna jump over here, take this jump, and then uh, take, then go to the store afterwards. I vented a slug. I know it's gross. Like if we if we were in sector six, I'd just vent the human anyway. But. Uh, we're in the sector seven, so we're, we're you know we're we're like about to the point. Like I probably won't wouldn't master the my weapons until like in the middle of the flagship fight. So they got a burst laser three. It looks like no burst laser two, burst laser one, and a bomb a bomb shoe of some type. Never thought I'd uh, get vented as a slug. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Pretty rare. Over a human, I know. What's up, Value? How's it going, man? Oh, that's a firebomb. Oh, God. Ah, crap. Come on, man. Ah, oh, you bastard. Ah, uh, no, you stay there. You you go help him in piloting. Stupid firebombs, anyways. Don't you dare, you bastard. Oh my god. Stop it! Your weapons are broke! You prick. <sighs> Let's get these guys healed up. I guess. There you go. We're not gonna take any more damage. They're, they're, all their weapons are down and they have a breach, so. Okie doke. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Followed by a lot of that. It's pretty good. Seems legit. They took our jobs. I know, Corbin, it's terrible. Why does everyone assume you're vending him? You just teleported him to the planet. No, I definitely ejected him into space. 49 scrap, two missiles in a draw part. Wow, that's a lot closer than actually what I thought. I didn't even, like, use the my cheetah paper to, to tell. But uh, I didn't realize it was that close. But we're still going to go to the store here. I could, I could, Kashak, but I just want I don't want to take that much time. So stores can't have a clone bay and a med bay for sale at the same time, so that's why like there's two empty slots here. Even though, you know, we have um, we're actually missing some. Uh, we don't need any of this. Uh, Uncle Steven's gonna go away as well, and we don't need the pike beam either. I don't need long range scanners, but I only get 15 scrap for selling it, so I don't think I'm gonna bother. Is there a master in weapons? Yep, there he's right there. It's a human. No, oh, you mean at the store? No, there's not. Zolt shield bypass, fire suppression, hacking stun. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Uh, I don't need any fuel. I don't need any repairs. Well, we're gonna plan on hacking the shields on the flagship, but I still don't have any intent of using hacking stun.
Maybe you can teleport on the third form of the flagship? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we definitely could. Yeah, that's that seems like a very reasonable thing. Yeah. Alright, let's get Zold Shield Bypass. That seems good, Nuke. Yep, because uh, we'll kill all of their crew on the first form of the flagship, I'm sure. And we'll go ahead and just keep long-range scanners here. And we're going to get my shields up to level 3 and my hacking up to level 3. Or my shields up to level 4 my hacking up to level 3. Next, I guess. I could do that first, but it doesn't really matter. So much power. I think we're already over 2,000 scrap in the run, if I had to guess. Spend the 50 on the backup battery? Uh, I think we're okay. I'll get the backup. I'm sure I'll get level 2 backup battery, but I'm not going to do it yet. Ion Sunner fires at 10 seconds, 11 seconds on the burst laser 1. Uh, charge laser up to 4 shots, 5 seconds apiece, and a bomb. They got a lot of Mantis over there. It is a Mantis bomber. That is definitely going to happen. Where are you going, Mantis? Where are you going to board? Okie dokie. I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and vent you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and move my guys over here. And then you're going to go ahead and fight me 4v2. If you don't mind. Unlimited power. Hmm. I could hack. Could hack their piloting, I guess. The fuck is this guy? What are they doing? Why are they going that way? They it's like they fucking know. They fucking know. God damn it. You bastards. I wanted to fight this. I wanted to fight all unfair and stuff though. Come on. Alright. This is ridiculous. Oh god, you got stunned. Your weapons are uh, non-functioning, sir. What's up, Mantis? How's it going? Oh, fuckers. AI's cheating. Mom. Uh, you go here. I just didn't want him to get stunned in the shields again like last time. Not like last time. Mind control here. Stop him from doing those repairs. And, uh, you know what? Why don't we just go ahead and... Why don't we just go ahead and get into this action? A little less conversation, a little more action. All the aggravation ain't satisfaction in Oh, man! 20% evasion. You're dodging too much. Ion stunner. Whiffing. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys are looking pretty dead. Oh, you got that fixed? Oh, okay. Let me know how that goes. Let me know how that goes. It's, excuse me, Mantis. Oh, there we go. Okay. 67 scrap and 3 fuel. Very nice. Very nice. Heal him up. Cheating AI, yeah, yeah, we're going home. Let's go into that ion storm. We'll have 13 power to work with, just like we did last. Okay, we're gonna upgrade the backup battery now. We'll upgrade the backup battery. That way, we got a crazy amount of power to work with. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that's thirteen. Let's go. Who's in here? Triple kill with one laser, yep. Oh, okay. We'll just go ahead and use the Rockman for the blue option here because it's all automatically like a high-end reward just for having offering, having the Rock Crewman offer to lead him out of the uh, nebula. So, 61 scrap, two fuel, and a drone part. Nice. Nice. I think we're probably going to blow this ship up uh, when we dive here. 
Yeah, that seems seems fair. Let's just blow them up. Let's just get early swag sensors. Why not? Uh, just because they're completely useless. I'm thinking we're going to blow this guy up. Heavy laser 2. They got a mini beam charge 2. And they have a bomb as well. These guys are holding on to one fuel. I know it. I know they are. You can't fool me. Good timing indeed, science. Happy Saturday to you. How's it going? Um, I'm just going to hack your engines if you don't mind. Nice dodge. Cool. Um, okay, so we'll do a volley like this. I'm just going to hack level one. <laughs> Um, then we're gonna do a heavy laser two like this. It looks like it seems like they have a level three clone bay. Yep. You guys are non functioning. What's up guys? And level one mind control, please. Let's get, let's get everybody down into the shields here. Come out! Let's have a good time. Don't care about dodging that. Yep, these guys are... This guy, my guy's getting a little bit low on health here, but that's okay. Uh, my teleporter's still not ready to go, and I haven't, I've also not loaded up my clone bay. Um, do I want to heal bomb right now? Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Because uh, they have 20% evasion. So I'm going to let him kill him here. Then I'm going to just run him into the uh, engines here because they can't freely go into this room. Uh, they docked down that door, so they could go like that. I'll just heal, heal them while they're in that room. There we go. Nice and safe. Nice and nice and toasty. Okay, let's board here. And let's move back over here. And now we got a four-man boarding set up. And my Rockman's not going to be able to micro out of there, but that's okay. Get him and dead him. One fuel. I knew they had it. You guys didn't believe a little bit, uh, a little bit wasteful using a heal bomb there. I could have just brought my guys back, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. Oh, Lost needs heals too. Okay, there we go. Everybody back to your stations. The heavy lasers are awesome when, yeah, this, when you have like a heavy laser setup or, or any kind of like a, a setup where you have a lot of lasers, it's just beautiful, especially when they're all timed, timed together. To the last stand, you arrive at an outpost, clue. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What the hell is the meaning of this? Who the hell are you? Listen, you can't just come in here with your heavy lasers and your charge lasers and just and just expect to kill the flagship, okay? That's not how this works. That's not how it's going to... That you, you're not going to do it at all. Come on, you guy have no idea. This guy's never played FTL before. Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terzil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Like, oh my god, you guys. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. We're scholars safe none. I bet you guys didn't even know that. You guys didn't even know. I knew about it like two weeks ago. Becky was telling me about it. She was like sleeping around with some rebels or something. You don't even know. Listen, do you know how many rebels Becky slept with to get the information? All of them. There's a million rebels, and she slept with every single one. It's not an exaggeration. That's what she did. That's what she did. You just don't even know. Explain the weakness. Tully responds, it's settled. 
It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We do the can to hold off the warship, but you must succeed at destroying this flagship. Your current outposts can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair station can provide aid as well. Good luck. Now get the hell out of here. Listen, you can't just... Listen, you need to go out there. You need to kill the flagship, and then you need to come back. But you better goddamn well not come back empty-handed. You need to bring... You need to bring back choppers. Not normal helicopters, you need to bring back space choppers. They're two different things. One of them works in space and the other one doesn't. Jesus, this guy doesn't know anything about space. He's got his own ship and everything. Ten fuel and seven hull points repaired. Yeah, Becky's an NG, of course. Okay, that base is in a fine position. He's gonna take a little while to get over to that base, so hopefully we can make a bunch more scrap. I wish I could upgrade more bars of power, but I can't. Prepare to fight the rebel ship. Small Federation colony under attack. Burst laser 2, chain laser, and a heavy, a large missile. A he heavy, large missile. I'm just gonna board them right away. And then board him, and then he's gonna, just gonna board me with one guy, and then I can just kill him too. Sure. Seems good. We'll get Steven online to stop that missile. Everything's gonna work out just fine. Or it won't. One of the two. Cool. Send you guys over here too. Get him in dead. Welcome to B1. I am bored. Uh, 218. With the resub. Two months in a row. Can we get a bunch of wasps? Hey, 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 look at there's a button over here. What the hell's that? Can we get a bunch of wasps in chat to welcome board back to the wasp car? Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much for the continued supports. Appreciate it. Thanks for helping me save full time in the stream. Thanks for helping keeping the content alive. How's your Saturday going, board? Yeah, exactly, Cookie. Yeah. You're not the only one that thinks of his clackons first. Clack, clack on what? What? These guys are dead. Yeah, they didn't even get to... Wow, we beat them in less than 20 seconds. Crazy. 72 scrap, 2 fuel, 2 missiles, contact the survivors. Nice. Holy shit. 105 scrap in a single run, in a single jump. 2 fuel and 4 missiles on top of that. Nice. Record run incoming? What do you mean record run? I don't know what clock runs are. I don't know. What, what are you talking about? Masters of Orion 2 insects. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. I don't know, Ned. Hey, look, I'm an elusive Sector 8 store that I don't have any real interest in going to. I'm going to take these jumps because I can make more scrap from them. Okay, Heavy Laser 2, Heavy Laser 1, a large missile, and a bomb. I'm going to do the same thing we did last time. Oops, there we go. He boards me with one guy. We deal with that guy. Like so. He does have more crew here, which is annoying. He's or rather he's not fighting in the nor in the position that he was before. Uh, so this is kind of more awkward, I guess. Take out his clone bay like that. Cool. He's got a bomb showing up somewhere. I don't see it. Did it not even fire? Did it fuck up? I guess. Alright, let's board over here. Okay, get back over here. I might kill them before they get that fired. Maybe. No! Steven! Hull Smasher Mark Deuce! Another Hull Smasher Mark Deuce. Okay. All right, a score record. Oh, maybe, 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 uh, Wolina. I'm not sure. 
We haven't had an insane amount of jumps or anything. I need to bring my guys back. Okay, so if that is going to hit me, because Steven might not shoot it down. Um, then I'm going to jump away before. It's going to hit me, so I'm going to jump away. All right, that's fine. Uh, do I go to that repair station? Nah, I'm just going to go here. So I'm just going to jump away, because Steven wasn't going to get it. And my appeal bomb didn't go through, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. We'll see in just a second. Uh, charge laser 2, basic laser, and a mini beam. You've been defending the ship so much. What? At what point is getting scrapped at this point? You need, like, nothing other than points? Oh, sure. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, it doesn't really matter if we get any scrap. We, we, we haven't needed scrap 200 scrap ago. Well, we haven't needed scrap, like, 400 scrap ago. But, uh... Yeah. It might still connect. I'm not sure. No, I don't know. Oh, it did! Nice! Nice! I wasn't 100% sure. They have a missile again. They're gonna board me with two guys this time around, though. Can I get him to come into this room? No. Actually, sometimes I can. If I can, if I, like, go this way, sometimes he'll leave. He'll go the other way? No. Come on, you wanna go this way? No. Come on, you prick. Alright, whatever, just fight him. All right, that's fine. We're going to have to fight him for realsies, I guess. I guess. Um, nice. Freaking. God damn it, Steven. So this is like... This, like, that is one of the reasons that we don't like using the defense drone on the ship, because he does a bad job of defending these two rooms, and it, as it happens, weapons is one of those two rooms that he doesn't do a good job of defending. The problem, the thing with the defense drone is, is he doesn't, like, recognize that, uh, missiles are, um, like, he doesn't recognize targets until they're past, like, a certain distance, so it's kind of, uh... It's weird. Like, he, does, he doesn't realize them until it's, like, a little too late if they come at a certain angle, so. You're not Steven, Kooky. What are you talking about? Do -do. Anyway, uh, spine control here. They're gonna murderize that guy to death. Just curious what level their med bay is. Well, it's still alive, so I guess it's something. Support here. Excuse me, guys. Uh, you don't mind me, uh, you know, attacking your med bay, do you? I hope you don't. I'm just gonna shoot my own guys, also. If you don't mind. I mean, I just figured you didn't want your med bay online. That was just getting in the way. There we go. 77 scrap, one fuel, and one missile. Yeah, we got a missile back. So now I can heal my guys back. There you go. Good job, Kilo and Sig. Kicking ass. All right, let's go ahead and go to the store. I guess we'll be able to repair ourselves back up to full. 12 scrap, outrageous prices, man. So like I said before, the reason they have a, they only have one for sale because they can't have a med bay and a clone bay for sale at the same store. It's kind of weird. Only one level of weapons on this guy, so human's not getting replaced. 
I could use the whole laser too instead of the charge too. I don't need the long range scanners, so I guess I could just sell those. I mean, we haven't needed them for a while, but we'll just go and get rid of them now. They don't have any augments for sale here. Um, I mean, the charge laser too is totally fine. So I guess we're just gonna keep that. And I could charge up to four if I really wanted to. So I guess goodbye, Hall Laser 2. 271 scrap. Okay. And I guess we're gonna repair. <sighs> don't need any drones, don't need any missiles. We are good to go. I guess. Let's get some swag piloting and some swag dudes. Is there any one power weapon? Yeah, there's all kinds of one power weapons. Heavy laser one, heal bomb. All like heal bomb, small bomb, stun bomb, ion blast mark one. Um, the one power missile, I can't remember what that's called. Oh, instead of the heal bomb on one. Oh no, I want the heal bomb because I don't have any other method of healing. So, I mean, I would probably get by without it, but I mean, I'd rather just have it just in case. Just in case. Yeah, I know. It's like outrageous. I know. Um, I really don't. Not Like I said, I don't need any of this stuff, but screw it. Let's just get absurd levels of crap. All right, let's go here, I guess. Buffer, Steven. Steven already has a buffer. Oh my god. We'll, we're, this is a guaranteed double reward, this refueling outpost. Holy shit. They have drones, a burst laser 2, and a heavy ion, and a bomb, I'm assuming. Nope. No, oh, it's a burst laser 3. Okay. And then two beam drones. This ship is terrible. What is going on here? Yeah, it's pretty good. You can switch after each phase. Normally, you don't use it during ship fights. Normally, I don't, but in an emergency, I would, which is why I wanted to equip it just in case. Right? Because I don't have any other method of healing. If I if I didn't need it just in case, then I would equip it something else, and it's then I would have equipped something else a while ago. But you drones are looking pretty dead, mighty dead. 34 scrap gross reward by the way two missiles and a drone part wow that's a garbage all right that's a little bit better 43 scrap two misses a drone part as well look at that huge reward i could take another ship fight and then go fight the flagship afterwards but i don't know i don't i have to they'd have they'd be at the ship for a turn or they'd be at the station for a turn and... eh Did you watch a Dolphin's No Weapon flagship takedown from last night? No, I didn't, Mr. Painless. What ship did he use? I'm assuming a four-man boarding setup. Like so, Crystal or Mantis or something. Most of the other three weapons are more than capable of taking out any ship with the without the need for the fourth offensive one. Better safe than sorry. Yep, exactly, Kuno. All right, well, um, yeah, we made an insane amount of scrap this run, and uh, I guess we might as well just see if we can get even more. Screw it. Crystal B, yeah. Prepare to fight the rebel ship. 
They got a missile. They got a burst laser too. They got a charge laser deuce as well. 12 seconds into four charge seconds, five seconds apiece, and uh, I don't know what kind of a missile that is yet. Here comes the boarding crew. I could board them. That was board. And mind control them. And kill these guys. And we're gonna do a volley in their in their weapons. Cause I can't end the fight fast enough to stop that missile from firing, so we're just gonna do this. Really? That dodge though. Alright. Alright, Steven. Alright, Steven, listen, bud. Listen, Steven. I need you here. I need you here now. There you go, bud. Nice job. Perfect. Beautiful. We got those guys dead, by the way. Their missiles are gonna burn down. No problem. Problem for them, anyway. Maybe not for me. You're dead. How is that not burned down yet? Uh, get that the fuck out of here. Alright, there we go. There we go. Shh, it's gonna be okay, Rebels. It's gonna be okay. The heal bomb is healing everybody in the room, or only your crew. Only my crew. 77 scrap, 2 fuel, and a drone part. Contact the survivors! You didn't set up a, a emergency repair station. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I know you didn't. I know, we all know that you didn't set up the damn repair station. Come on now. We know you didn't set up that emergency repair station. Come on. Did you see the highlight I made uh, from yesterday's RimWorld run, Wonko? It's exclamation point RimWorld. That triple rocket launcher, though. Uh, it's, uh, okay. 83 scrap. Oh, boy. Unless they lie to you. Yeah. Bastards. I really don't need nothing. All right, so against the flagship, we're gonna go ahead and board their um, their um, stuff. We're gonna a level three mind control. Uh, I I I'll I'll get level three mind control eventually, but uh, we're gonna board their ion weapons and then their and their laser and their beam thing and. Uh, we're gonna get all of their crew dead on the first form. We're all but one, maybe. So, uh, the only thing that would be annoying for them to hack would... Well, mind control would be annoying to hack, and the teleporter would be annoying to hack. Weapons wouldn't be that big of a deal. Either way, good luck, have fun, do good, don't die, kill all, ally victory, no BS. We're gonna take damage on this first form of the flagship, unless we get insanely lucky. But I can't board them right away, and I don't ever put Steven online early here. I always just let them hack whatever they're going to hack right off the bat. I wish that worked, but it doesn't. What are you doing? Hacking my shields. A little bit annoying. Oh, hacking my hacking. Oh, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Totally fan. Okay, get him in there. I just need level two teleporter. I don't need level three. Uh, we're gonna get Steven online now, and we're going to hack their shields as soon as I can. I don't really need to even get the that the get the level of hacking up very high. I don't even need to dodge those lasers. Um, but we're gonna hack level three anyway. I, I don't need it at level three, but that's fine. Okay, 
missiles are incoming here, and I'm going to pull down one of my shields, I guess, for the just a second, just to up my evasion here. I want to disable the missiles if I can. Steven! Steven! Steven's corpse shot down the missile. We did get hit by one missile, though. Looks like it's going to my teleporter, which is kind of annoying. Not a huge problem, though. Steven, what happened to you, man? Okay, we're going to get my shields back up. I'm just going to need level one mind control here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do something along the lines of... I'm just going to fire this now. Let's... Hopefully we get both these heavy laser two shots. Nice. Okay, so here's what we're gonna mind control here. We're gonna mind control this guy in in uh, missiles. And the reason we do this is since his system is down. When the system is, that's their missiles right there. Since their since their missiles are down, uh, um, he will um, leave that system and then go into shields, and he can walk right through that hack door, and he'll stop that guy from repairing that breach, which is perfect. So you guys teleported. Very nice. Okay. Dokie. Put the cookie down. Put the cookie down. Come on. Also, Steven's dead. Steven's dead. It's the worst. Bring you guys back. Um, hmm. Let's see. What do we want to be doing here? I want to make sure that guy dies. Yeah, he's looking pretty dead. Uh, yeah, they blew up the hack. When they start their hack like that, they can do that. That guy has would live with one health if I heavy laser him. This, I guess. Oh, they dodged it. Those bastards. Hey, we got mastery and fighting. Yay! Good job, boys. Bring it back right away. I'm gonna go ahead and smash down this door really quick so I can heal up my crew. I only need level three shields here. Stop, stop them shenanigans. Get you guys like, oh shit. Steven. Steven, please. Wow. Rip. Rip health. Rip shields. Rip senses. Outrageous. I forgot that they got their missiles back. Whoops. Uh, okay, so I guess we're just gonna kill them here. I guess. It's fine. I'm not gonna get all of them dead. It's just them hacking my hacking is a little bit annoying. I don't want to keep hacking them over and over and over again. 21 scrap, one fuel, and a drone parts. Took two points of damage. Two points. So lame. He shot the one that was going for shield. Steven knows. Steven knows. Yeah, he, he knows which ones to shoot at. Swag sensor's down. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and jump up here just to make more scrap, because why not? Ooh. 59 scrap. I can almost get super, super swag mind control. Let's see what's going on. Prepare to fight the rebel ship. Halberd beam, a heavy laser, and drones. What kind of drones? Defense drone two. No, any boarding drone? No boarding drone. All right. And uh, your setup can't deal me damage, ever. Huh? One. If I had three shields, you still couldn't deal me damage. All right. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, a three shield in Sector 8. Yeah, and they have a completely ass weapon set up, too. So, pretty weird. 
All right, let's go ahead board here. What's up, guys? How you doing? Smile control you. Let's battle. Oh, you're trying to escape. Let, let me know how that goes. No, yeah, let me know, because that's probably not going to work. Just, I was just FYI. I don't know if you knew that. 72 scrap. Wow, really great reward. One fuel, two missiles, a laser charger, contact with survivors. Where's the ship's points? Medbay? Must have been Medbay. Sincere gratitude, my ass. Get the hell out of here. I'm not gonna board the second form of the flagship. We have to deal with their, uh, we have to deal with their, uh, boarding drone, so we'll just go ahead and leave my guys on board for that. What's up, Peanut Butter? Welcome back. Good to see you. Welcome to B1. Take K us Live. with a four month resub. Can we get a bunch of wasps in chat to welcome Tikas back to the wasp car? Thank you so very much for the continued support. And as far as the sincere gratitude goes, fuck you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tikas. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Happy Saturday to you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me save full time. Thanks for keeping the content alive, but appreciate it. What's up, Jewel? Happy Saturday to you. The reward is the knowledge that they lived safe, yeah. Oh, it's bastards. 131 scrap. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna spend that, I suppose. We could get my engines to max, which I don't need, but we could. Because why not, right? How often do you get level, level uh, 8, whatever it is? 55% of Asian. Yeah, level 8. In, yeah, it's, it says right there anyway. Why are you always so far behind? Like, six people did wasp before that showed on your screen. I don't know. Sometimes it lags for me as well, uh, Slicks. So, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes my notifier lags way behind. Way behind. Do, 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 do. All right, so anywho, let's uh, see. What are we doing here? I guess we're just going to wait. Put Steven online here. Good luck, have fun, do good or die. Kill all, ally victory. No BS. Let's see what we can do. We're going to hack shields. Uh, we'll try and get some more of their crew dead here. I don't really care too much on how many we actually get dead, but... Uh, It'd be nice to get a to, uh, to have to get past their defense drone. That's easy peasy. Steven's gonna control their uh, boarding drone for a little while. I'm gonna want to hack right away. I think. Um, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna do three charge laser shots, like this. Heavy laser like that, and a heavy laser do like this. I'm gonna hope that the two heavy lasers hit. They do not. I'm gonna go ahead and mind control this guy that's in the room that's on fire. Hopefully he'll leave. Indeed he does, and he goes into shields, which is perfect. Let's that missile system burn down. I'm gonna. Tr I can't actually get that shot in because the shields are about to come back up. That sucks. I, I could have maybe done it if I fired immediately. No, I, I doubt it. I have like no engines right now, but I have the backup battery ready, so. When I need to dodge, I will. Steven still got this, this covered for that. These guys are having a pretty bad time fighting each other. That's not going to burn down before that fires, but um, I might, I could do a shot here with the heavy laser, try and stop it. Fuck. All right. 
So power surge incoming here. Uh, we're going to back up battery level 4, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the heal bomb for that evasion as well. So 55% evasion against three missiles. Steven's here as well. And, um... Wow, getting hit there. Right in the weapons, too. Goodbye, heal bomb. Alright, otherwise, then the power surge is going to be starting here. Okay, we got a lot of guys fighting here in the shield still. That's great. This guy's going to make it over to the med bay, unfortunately. That's okay. I gotta. I want. I really want to hit the guys with shields. Even with this level of evasion and level four shields, we can still take a lot of damage against this form of the flagship. By the way, indeed. So there we go. Starts. Uh, starts already. We can just quite suddenly, if our evasion ends up getting low, we can just suddenly start taking like uh, we can take like 15 points of damage in about uh, five, like less than like two seconds. So pretty crazy. No, we're not destroying the beam. Nope. Like, they're getting a lot of hits here. Every shot is a coin flip, but uh, this is definitely not doing too great. I'm gonna go and vent that. That's all right. This guy is still alive. Not for long, though. There he goes. There we go. That's what we wanted. There we go. Hmm, yeah, we're, like I said before, we're not boarding them. These guys are over here putting up these fires still. They're just at the start of preparing it. I don't want to get hit by another power surge, but uh, I do want to get more of their crew dead just because I want to. Good job, Steven. That, we've never gotten boarded by that drone, by the way. Never have, not once. Hmm, let's do this. Really? Come on. There we go. That guy's dead. Perfect. Power surge still flying at us here. I don't need Steven online, I don't think. I'm just going to go ahead and up my evasion here. And we're going to kill that guy. And we're going to kill that guy. They're all dying left and right. They can't stop me. We didn't take any damage on that power surge, right? That's good. They got three guys left. I guess. 20 scrap, three fuel, and a missile. Not enough to upgrade anything. Not surprising. Your, it's your first time watching Rathacon all the way through? Cool. I hope you're, yeah. yeah, I know you've been quoting it the whole way. Seems like about the right timing, I guess. I tear up every time. Five and a half hours later, here we are with no med bay, no clone bay. Jumping at the third form of the flagship, as always. We always want to fight the second form on the base so we can jump at the third form of the flagship and jump back to the base if we need to. Good luck, have fun, good luck, die, kill all, ally victory. No BS. Let's do it, boys. Yep, three crew. Cool. They're going to be mind controlling me first, and then uh, I'm going to stop that. I was going to vent that guy for a second, then we'll let him in here. Because we can kill him faster than the, the lack of oxygen. Just going to go on auto fire here, I guess. I can board him right now. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, our, our runs usually take uh, in the neighborhood of like four to five, six hours as far as pause runs go. Usually, not always. I can just board them. Doesn't really matter. What's up, guys? How you doing? Them mind controlling me while I'm on his ship can be really, really awkward sometimes. They shot down Steven, by the way. The motherfuckers. Okay, getting hit with two shots there, and they're hitting my dudes down. Doesn't really 
matter too much. We can uh, heal bomb past the resultant shields too, since we have uh, since we have the bypass. I'm gonna run my guys out of this room really quick, just so that way when this mind control hits, if I happen to get mind controlled on his ship, then I don't have the risk of uh, being mind controlled, uh, him mind controlling my guy and me accidentally mind controlling theirs. Cause that would suck really bad. Let me go ahead and get this going. Hack here, and we're gonna get Steven online as well. Nice job, Steven. Level one teleporter will be fine. Steven! Oh! How did you not get hit, Steven? Hey, did you guys want to get into your um, shields? Because I don't think you're going to be able to do that right now. No, we're kind of busy. No, we're definitely pretty busy right now. Let's start the hack. Uh, what does uh, heal bomb on Zoltan Shield do? If he didn't have the bypass, nothing. It just blows up. Yeah, nothing at all, JC. No BS or no no bullshit or no backstab either one. All right, Steven, I need you. Or I mean, I don't. Oh God, really? Fifty-five percent evasion, four shots. Whoa. Okay. All right. That's that's fine, I guess. Or right, whatever. Losing lots of coin flips today, I guess. Go ahead and help him, please. Get those missiles offline, please. Thank you. Mind control is about to happen, so I'm probably going to run my guys out of the room just so I don't get mind controlled here while he's in the room with me. So do that. Yep. That would be why. <clears throat> so that way I can go back in here. Start smashing down his guys. I can actually heal bomb my guys, too. Oh, it missed, you bastards. Oh, you're fine, Mantis. Calm down. Jeez. Oh, that backup battery went away as well. Power surgeon coming here. Totally fine. That guy's very dead. Oxygen's getting a little low. It's fine. That's fat. I can't believe we're getting hit by so many shots. That is just unlikely. Okay. Listen. Ten shots. Whoa! They shot down Steven. Alright, that's the last fucking straw. Alright. I've had enough of your shit. You're not going anywhere, bud. Go ahead. Take over AI. See what I care. That's an, I've had enough of this. I'm taking down your shields. I'm taking him out. Good. Take it out. He'll bomb it. There you go. Alright, can we dodge now this time? Pretty please? Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, thanks. Hang on, I gotta be at full health here or else it's not gonna count for shit. Right? Right. Uh, my guys are all in good shape. Uh, I guess I could bring you guys back. I just guess. Right? Sure. Let's get some of this crap repaired. I gotta make sure my guys are all at full health, like I said. Uh, what are you at? You're at 93. Go ahead and come down here really quick. You help here. You guys come down in here. Heal bomb it. Nice! Almost done. <laughs> First time max engines you got uh, against all odds from the flagship. Yeah, the first time we had max engines, we had the same thing on this file. Okie dokie, get back in engines. You can get down here. You can help him up there. You can get back over to weapons. They're gonna get their power, their shields back up here. Totally fine. Look at you and you fancy schmancy. Zoltan shields. No, 
Oh, hang on. I'm gonna counteract that. So we got full health on the crew. Just because we didn't have... Uh... Just because we didn't have... Uh... A med bay or a clone bay doesn't mean we can't have full health. Doesn't mean we can't have the luxury of max health. What happened to all the flak in the other streams before? What do you mean? I guess... All right, all right. We'll catch you later, Vainless. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess they're pretty dead. All right, let's go ahead and kill them. Let's get. Well, hang on. Let's get Steven online. Let's get the backup battery in on the action. Get the hacking online. Make sure that's just starting the hack for no reason. GG. Let's send him a heal bomb too. Why not? Right? Give him that heal bomb. Get him and dead him, boys. Get him and dead him. Boarding bananas. I am bored. Silence, Curl, Scout, Onesie Wilson, Lost, Kilo Blaster, Sig Trap, and Spam, and a can. GG, boys. I would say that that flagship is pretty well fucking d -d 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 dominated. Domination. No med bay, no clone bay on that run. Just kind of decided to do that at the start of the run. Just kind of like, well, let's just not get that. So we just used the heal bomb the whole way through. Pretty awesome. GG. Thank you so much for all those GGs, everybody. Appreciate it oh so very much. Do -do. Curious on the score on this one. We'll take a look at just a second. It's not the first time that we've done a no med bay, no clone bay run, but that was pretty sweet. Do -do. Let's look at the score. 6,796. That was a crazy fucking run. You know what? Now that I think about it, I think the Slug B wasn't on the top score anymore. I just remembered. I think it wasn't. I think it got bumped off of the top score by, like, the Mantis A or something like that. Like, we had a crazy run with that recently. So, now the Slug B coming back strong... Number one, 6796, most scrap collected, 2451. That's a new record. Very, very nice. Uh, we knew that was an insane, uh, insane amount of scrap that we had. Yeah, because the slug, yeah, because the fucking mantis knocked it out. The mantis monster knocked out the slug, and now the slug, the slug knocked out the slug A, I think, is what just happened. <laughs> I think that's what happened. So that was a uh, top score for this ship. I think that might be my top score overall. 52 ships defeated, 104 beacons explored, 24, 51 scrap collected, 9 crew hired, 67, 96. Nice. Very, very good. Fantastic run. Do, 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 do. Heal burst OP. Yep. That's how you do it. <laughs> I mean, you just don't. Who needs med bays and clone bays, right? You just don't use that. Don't use those. Fun seeing a mix of pause and no pause in the high scores. Yeah. I, I feel like no pause end up uh, creeping into the top scores quite frequently, to be honest, just because uh, in no pause runs, they uh, have a tendency to be. Like, the successful runs are always a little bit above above average, I think. <laughs> Boom heels are just too damn good. I love seeing the slug ships in the top, in the top five for sure. For sure. <laughs> 